Disclaimer. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. So if you do decide to drink, please drink responsibly. Welcome to the what the fuck is that? <laughs> Welcome hey, to the Beer Buds Podcast, season two, <laughs> episode thirty one. It's a ghost. <laughs> Keep trying to chair. move it. <laughs> uh, season two, episode thirty one of the Beer Buds. I'm Beer Buds Carlos, and currently Beer Buds Angel's moving something for us. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, just push it in. Yeah, yeah, hey, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, this is Beer Buds Carlos, Beer Buds Daniel, and we're gonna be reviewing today is uh, Pizza Port Brewing. Now, I know in the post I said it's pizza and beer that we're going to be uh, doing. We don't have pizza. No. That should have been something we've done, actually. That would have been yeah, delicious. Been nice. <laughs> keto, but we're keto, so we can't do that. Yeah, and I'm trying to lose weight. I've been getting, getting fat, you know, so I've been uh, showing my body online to Twitch people, <laughs> you know, live streaming 24-7, and then people have been watching me uh, shower naked. Nice. It's kind of nice. But I only nice. show my face. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's yeah. I make sure not to. Um, usually, usually, what I see girls do, and I guess some guys is they blur their face and just show their. <laughs> so the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not a girl. The conservative ones. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a girl though, dude. I don't do that stuff. All right, uh, let me get out my spreadsheet so we can get started on this. Um, what's the other thing? I still wanted to do. I remember I mentioned this before. Oh, I need to mute my phone. I forgot. We don't want any unnecessary yeah. noise like last time. Uh, but I know la- I, I, are we still going to get some shirts made? What do you think? Yeah. Wait, yeah, we were supposed to do that. Right? Yeah, because it was like the shirts, um, the stickers, so we could pass that out, right? I'm, I'm raising my volume one because I can't even hear myself. There you go. That sounds better. Uh, the shirts, the stickers, and then what else was it? Uh, I think that's it, right? Masks. <laughs> beer buds <and> mask. <laughs> that's a good one actually um i mean i'm not gonna be doing that fuck that you don't wear masks <laughs> whoa dude I, I wear a mask just like you know i'm not uh, nah I, I feel like masks are expensive to make right now because everyone's wearing one it's like the new thing now. yeah i remember, I remember <laughs> when it first came about actually it was actually kind of funny because people were like selling it trying to make profit off of it and when i was like yeah eight bucks or one mask or like two for ten dollars and i'm like dude that should make cost you like a dollar to make or some shit i bought one for five bucks once yeah yeah that's expensive yeah hell yeah it is man and it was like a shitty mask yep yep um side note we did go this last weekend to carl strauss brewing in anaheim it was awesome i bought myself the steiner if you're looking at the podcast live today uh well, if you're just listening to podcasts, you can check it out live. But uh, I did get a Steiner. It looks pretty cool. It's this big ass cup right here. It's it's beautiful, honestly. Uh, and I'm gonna be drinking from that today, so you won't be able to see the color, <laughs> except for um. It's nice, mate. Not nicely made yeah. too. It's made in Germany. Yeah, I need to get myself a fucking extension arm. I'm gonna buy one. Fuck it. I keep saying like I don't need it, but I think I do need it now. Is this thing? Yeah, I need to get one. Oh, I should have mine. I'll bring. Well, mine. no, I want like a one like here standing. Like a oh, standing one, yeah, or just like one like this, but like, I don't know. It's weird. Um, all right, so I think I'm set up for the pizza port, for the most part. I already have the spreadsheet out. I'm ready to freaking. Um, wait, yeah, everything's working. I thought I thought the mic wasn't working for a second. I was scared because I saw the 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 volume not go up. So what are the four beers going to be doing today, Beer Buds, Daniel? All righty, let's do it. Let's see. Bring them out in order, whichever order you want to go. Most of these, by the way, are going to be IPAs because the mixed pack is called the Main Lineup Mixed 12-pack uh, pack of 16-ounce cans. So, yeah, it's going to be... Um, All right, we're starting off right. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing a session IPA. 
Oh, I like. You want me to read off the name, or are you gonna do that later? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Read off the name. You can't. You don't have to say what what it is, but just the names. Okay, so this one is Ponto Sipa. Ponto Sipa. Okay. Session IPA. The Ponto Sipa. And then the Sipa is just session IPA. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Uh, pizza port. I forgot what it was, but the other day I dropped like beer on my laptop somehow. And it's still stained. I don't know if it was beer. Was it beer? What did I drop on my laptop? I don't know. Go ahead. Next one, we got the. Fuck, I can't read this. It's like weird. Oh, the Arabic. Swamis. Arabic. It's Swamis. Sort of. Swamis? Or is it Swamis? Is that a C or <laughs> I don't know. Or W? That's got to be a W, right? That looks like a W. Swamis. Swami's IPA. Well, we'll find out right now once we start looking up more shit. <laughs> After that, we're going to take a nice little break and head on over to California Honey. So this is going to be a Blonde Ale. A uh, Blonde Ale, California Honey. That sounds awesome. That sounds good. But then. That's like one, refreshing. This one's going to be good. All right. Because we got the last one. We got the Kook Deepa double IPA. Ooh, the Kook. I like the. We'll finish it off with that. Ooh, the double. The double. I like the the name Kook. Dude. It's pretty cool. It is good. Kooks. Kooks of Hazard. Wait, isn't that a band? Yeah. No, Kook Racist or something. No, that's the clu- the Klein. No, but <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I just no, but about. I thought <laughs> you're a Kook. You're a Kook. I feel like that was a racist word back. Then I don't in know. some way or like derogatory somehow. I don't even know. I was pretty sure it was. Oh, I'm going to put some of these back because they're not they're not as cold as we thought they were. Yeah, I so. see. I told people, look, they're like, are you sure you want to put it in for like an hour and a half, two hours? I'm like, yes, do it now. And, you know, and then <laughs> you like, told people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, then, and, then, and then they tell me, you know what? And then they, they change my mom. I'm like, all right, I guess not. Maybe that is too <laughs> like early to put it into a freezer. But then when we took them out, they're like, damn, this still kind of like meh, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty weird, but anyways, now let's get back into it. Um, oh, how about that Carl Strauss though, man? Oh Is yeah, Carl Strauss about? Brewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should we delicious. pop them open now and start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pop them open. Let's get let's because we're trying to get better in our timing with this. We've gotten better, I think, for the most part, but we're still hitting like two, two, <laughs> two hour <laughs> marks. Yeah, but we're uh, we've been going under two. Um, but yeah, so that these are all tall cans, so that's one thing. Yeah, you could tell this isn't like it's only cold on the outside. I'm pretty sure it's not cold in the inside. Oh, that was a good little. Well, it's just like a soda can, so I I would expect it. So our first one we're doing is uh the Ponto Session IPA. Oh baby, oh baby. All right, do we got any information on this baby or not? Yeah. All right, hell yeah. Right, um, let me let me pour this out real quick. You want me to read it while you're pouring it? Yeah, go for it. All right, so this session IPA is named after a favorite beach and surf nice spot right at the southernmost port of Carlsbad. The jetties offer amazing lefts during a clean south well swell and a great place for the family and friends to relax with their cooler. We are really excited <laughs> to share this hoppy beer in a can that you will enjoy a little longer than some of our bigger beers. Cheers. Yeah. That, that was funny. It, with your cooler and your buds. <laughs> it's very, uh, like, San, San Diego. Yeah, dude. Like, OC. What's the ABV know? on it? ABV, we got... 4.5%. All right. I like the smell so far, by the way. I love that little smell. It's a little nice, a little tanginess. Yeah. And just some, like, back back history on, on Pizza Port. They're from, uh, they're a little north of San Diego. I was reading on their website right now. And nice. Was, they were started by Gina and Vince Marsaglia. Oh. Marsaglia. Oh, Marsaglia. so they're probably, like, they're Italian then. They yeah. Be. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, because they started a pizza joint. Yeah, that's why it's called Pizza Port. Um, in '87, and then in '92 they started brewing their own beers. So 
yeah it's pretty cool they have a bunch of locations now like a lot like i guess on that that on the coast on the west coast you know just scattered throughout mostly True. san diego ish yeah I, I i'm thinking to myself if my stein is making this beer taste worse than it actually is but i don't know oh, I don't yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah i'm gonna I'm get a good quick little taste from a beer with daniel's cup spraying that corona <laughs> Okay, no, yours tastes worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that sounds bad. It's not that bad, but I'm not a fan. You wait, yours tastes way kind of different than mine. Yours tastes try yours. It has a little bit more like bitter. Yeah, bitterness than mine. I don't know what it is. It's like the Germans; they know how to dilute that shit with these Steiners or some shit. Yeah, you're right. Yours doesn't taste as bitter as mine. Maybe it might be temperature. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because mine's, yeah, no, mine's is way lighter. Yours has a big bitterness to it. More, yeah. Did you get the sure. same one? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're drinking the honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah, we got the same one. All right. It's just, <laughs> it's, it is different, though. That's fucking weird, man. No, yours is way colder, bro. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Like, touch, touch your can on the bottom. That's probably why. And then touch my can on the bottom. You're, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wait, let me touch my bottom. <laughs> let me touch the bottom of my can. Oh, no, yeah, my bottom is colder. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's probably numbing. Somewhere. Yeah, probably, because that shit was weird, yeah. I'm not a fan so far of it. Oh, yeah, but going back to Carl Strauss, while we continue with Pizza Port at the same time. Yeah, I know, Carl Strauss Brewing in Anaheim was awesome. It was sick. I loved it. I, I spent a lot. I spent almost 100 bucks that day. Is that real? Because I looked at my bill this morning, <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Carl Strauss. <laughs> yeah, I think mostly it came from the food, though. <laughs> yeah, you guys ordered some food. Yeah. And then this thing. Oh, this was only 20 bucks, though. So. Yeah, because, like, what, the the, the, the the flights, the little samplers, they were, like most of them were two bucks, yeah. Um, their beers were, like, five bucks. So it wasn't too much on that the beer. I think most of them were the cost. Like, at least 50 bucks, I want to say, probably came from food. Like close oh, to fifty bucks oh, for sure, because you guys got big plates. Yeah, too. we got the mac, the big mac. mac. Yeah, the mac and cheese, and then I got some tacos. Um, wait, was that it? Yeah. Oh, wait, so yeah. What you guys got? I don't know what you guys got besides. Oh no, mac. she got fries too. Oh yeah. So it's like thirteen. My tacos are like seventeen, and then the mac and cheese was thirteen as well, or some shit like that. So yeah, it's okay. almost like yeah, it's a little bit above forty bucks. Yeah, that shit was expensive. <laughs> so. But no, Carl Strauss was great. I love their dude. You guys need to go try their trolley L, like on tap. Oh, it's good. I've always liked it. The Irish red uh, trolley L, the red the red L, that like go to the one you always see at the stores when you see Carl Strauss brewing the six pack on tap. That shit's so good. I it's really it. good. Yeah, but my favorite part of the like the beer is really good. But my favorite part of the brewery itself is they know what they're doing because. You could just like use your phone to scan the the co QR code, yeah. and then you order your beers, and they just deliver them to your table. Yeah. So you could order as many like little pints or big full glasses, or even pitchers, like sixteen ounce pours, or the whole pitcher. True. It's pretty cool. Pretty convenient. Um. No. Yeah. It was very convenient, actually, in my opinion. Uh. Actually, I would say this is. I'm gonna change some of my score here. Um. I also like the feel, the atmosphere. Because, all right, we initially went, because where were we going to go? Oh, Ballast Point. Ballast Point, Anaheim. And then what happened? Oh, yeah, we didn't want to risk the whole reservation thing, right? Yeah. Because they're like, you could walk in, but you have to wait till a table goes up because they had reservations yeah. or something like that. It's like you just wait for someone not to do get to the reservation. Yeah. And so we're like, uh, maybe we should just go somewhere else. And then we, we were in Anaheim, so we're like, oh, let's just go to Carl Strauss. And we saw Golden. Car, the funny thing is, Car Strauss is right next to Golden Road. Yeah. Golden Road had like a, it looked like a line of people outside. Oh, I don't know. I don't even. Check it out. Um, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to go to Golden Road. Yeah, but we were like, why? Why is Car Strauss so looks so empty? It did look super empty, and I'm like, I'd rather go to Car Strauss Brewing than Golden Road any day. At least now, well, Golden Road Brewing, like the actual brewery itself, has decent beers. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, it's so packed now. I don't think it deserves to be that packed. That's yeah, my opinion. I think so. I mean, maybe be, I guess it makes sense. I'd rather have it that way. That way, the more all the people go over there. Yeah, that's true. But they do have the easier drinking beers. Like, yeah, for most people. 
Mm. I want to mention too, like Carl Strauss Brewing, it, that's new. That one's new, huh? It seemed it, brand new. It, yeah, it seemed very brand new. I don't remember Carl Strauss Brewing ever being next to Golden Road, at least. No, huh? When we went last time to that Golden Road, unless we didn't even fucking notice. But I feel like it's so, it's like so easy to notice. And like when we look up breweries, like I feel like it should would have popped up. That's right. Uh, yeah, I think it is like brand new, like earlier this year or late last year or something like that. For sure, huh? Cause, oh, no, because we went late last year. Wasn't it like December, acoustic Christmas or something? Yeah, December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably was earlier this year. But yeah, no, but Carl Schultz is great. You know what isn't so, great? Is this beer. <laughs> 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 Just straight up throw that shit in there. Um, you know, I, maybe I'm not a fan of session IPAs. I feel like I've had decent session IPAs. I don't think this is even... Comp- comparable to those i don't like it what are the have we had a session on the show we have we have for sure um i'll look it up right now but like i could tell you like this is not this is not what you want to like get i never all. understood i i i, I, I kind of i agree with you like i don't understand the concept of a session because like why not just get a cold shift? oh Whittier brewing had one. Oh, and there there's a pretty good 7.3 their session IPA? Yeah, their session. Um, someone else had one. Who else? El Monte, California. Who's in El Monte? Progress. Uh, let's see. Wait, uh, let me see who it is. Give me a second. Yeah, Progress Brewing, the Lemon Drop. Oh, that yeah. Was good. I forgot the Lemon Drop was a session IPA. That one was good, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot, man. Shit. And then what else we had? So we had good session IPAs. Oh, Kirkland? Kirkland has a session IPA. <laughs> Was you know what? Shit. I think that that's the one I was thinking of. Uh-huh. That was like, I think that one was better than this two. <laughs> oh damn! Uh, nah, it got a six point four mm. overall average. Kirkland uh, session IPA. Um, yeah, no. So we've had good session IPAs for sure. Yeah. Um, this does not compare to those, in my opinion. Not the lemon drop. Not the step on a crack. I think is a session IPA from what you're brewing. Step and then progress because it said progress Whittier and then Kirkland right those progress, are the three Whittier, Kirkland. yeah yeah so yeah this this is not great it ain't great kids don't don't buy it at least in my opinion I I need to get my score we still got check ability next I but, graded. but yeah like uh yeah it's it do you think it's tough to grade this one or no uh no I'm trying to figure out like but, the concept of a session IPA, so I can grade it kind of like a little more fair. Cause maybe it's supposed to be, you know, how an IPA nowadays, I can only have like one. I guess, yeah. Because it's like the thick, it's so thick. Yeah. Maybe, maybe in the feel like this, this doesn't feel as like, like, like you're having like a soup. Yeah. You know? for, for me, it still has the taste of an IPA, like really bitter. Yeah. For me, I gotta say, I, I, I'm imagining this. It's like. It's a brown ale trying to be an IPA, but it's a shitty brown ale. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I'm sorry, Pizza Port, but this is, ugh, <laughs> it's not good, man. Fuck, I've had better fucking shits in my mouth than this before. <laughs> let me tell you, dude. You guys remember Beer Woods Michael? One time he took a shit in my mouth, and let me tell you, that thing was good. Good. <laughs> that shit was some good shit. Good shit. And this is this this reminds me of some bad shits I've had when your boy boy has shit in, you know, Damn, in your mouth, in my mouth, man. <laughs> uh, oh, real quick, make sure if you do like this podcast to follow us on all social media platforms. That'd be dope. Just so you can find out when we're gonna be be dropping new merch. <laughs> dropping that merch? Are, are we gonna give it out for free? Yeah, we 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 do the beer buds hype. We're on the hype, but the buds hype, dude. Hype buds. Hype buds. Hype buds. Hype beer buds. Hype let's buds. let's send know. some t-shirts to Complex and Hype Beast. <laughs> send one to Jake Paul. <laughs> 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 Fucking Team 10 represents. <laughs> I'm not just kidding, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, fuck that, dude. I would never send it to Jake Paul. I, don't like that I, know where, I know where he lives. Oh, yeah? And Encino. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do know where he lives. This guy. This guy's a huge fan of Jake Paul. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Big fan. I don't even know what he does, honestly. I thought um, he was a fighter, dude. No, no. I thought he was a boxer. No one knows what he does. He's just kind of there, you know. He just kind of for for some reason he just exists, and while existing, he's making money, and that's it. He just exists, and little girls like him or something. I don't know. That sounds awesome, dude. 
Yeah. He's just it's being pretty himself. good. I'm like here trying to figure out how I want to <laughs> set up my fucking mic. <laughs> Is it your Stein that it's like taking so much room or something? No, it's just like I don't know. I'm I'm like trying to figure out new techniques. Uh like this like th- 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 yeah. This this was one right here I did where I had it like tripod. Like this one worked fine, but then it, occasionally it's like falling down because of the movement or something. Like, yeah. I mean, I think I'll leave it right there. That'll be good. All right. <laughs> it's falling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you move your this thing, your computer? True, true, true. Here, I got this. I know what to do. No, no, no. check it. Wait, are we ready for chuggability to go? Dude, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I don't want to drink anymore. Oh, this one. I know, I don't either. Should we get the boot? I had, I didn't yeah. get the. Wait, where is the boot? I don't see the boot. Is it? Let's inside? get the clock then. Let's get the clock. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, can we even drink the clock one? I don't think that thing's been rinsed. <laughs> We're just gonna throw out the beer. <laughs> it's good. Enough. Or should I rinse it in the bathroom? Oh, uh, I, got I, got I have water. I got water too. Where you got water? It's in that big uh, Progress Brewing jug. Yeah, and then just pour it into the cooler. Yeah, all right. See, here at the Beer Buds, we uh, we innovate on ways to uh, dispose of beer that we think is shitty. Because I, I feel like I'm not going to enjoy this chuggability. Maybe I am. I think it might be good. Like, it'll be easy? <laughs> yeah, a Beer Buds Daniel said he, he thinks it's going to be good. I, I, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm in the same boat as him. I think so, too. All right, that's it. I'm not fucking with this shit anymore. I'm just leaving it like this. I'm ready for the chuggability. If you beer brothers are ready for the chuggability, make sure to step up to the plate. Whoever beats the beer buds today will be rewarded with $100. Dude, I have an idea. What's up? (laughs) Let's let's weigh in before beer buds and then weigh in after beer buds and see if we we could guess... How many pounds we increased? <laughs> just from the <laughs> yeah. from before and after yeah. this, this bitch. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure we go up at Did least two up? pounds after the beer buds. Uh-huh. Oh, that's funny, dude. That's actually kind of funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beer buds. This is the beer buds chug ability. This is beer buds Carlos. Beer buds Daniel. Beer buds Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, this is the first time we do that. I, know, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just coming up. I mean, you, you, you got to go with the film and be like, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I know where he's going with this. Oh, and, I see. I see. I mean, but you don't. But I you got to try to guess. You could be like, yeah, dick. Or something. Just say random shit. Anyways. Like dick weed? <laughs> Dude, I love dick weed. That's dick my weed. favorite type of weed. Uh, weed. Nice. Anyways, let's do the chuggability. I have a lot too, but this one was good. I like the chuggability. It mm. felt like I was drinking a whole Steiner. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like I had a lot. <laughs> this is like when I was drinking a whole Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a Stein, but I like to say Steiner. Steiner. Yeah. Um. Good. Can I just say? Yeah. I feel that bitterness now after chugging it. Yeah. That bitterness is prevalent now for sure. <laughs> Um, <laughs> God damn, man. I remember I used to be able to chug a whole beer. You remember those days? I do. We'd be able to chug a whole beer. I think you need at least like two to warm up. And then yeah. maybe on the third one, you can chug the whole yeah. thing. And and I think you also got to be like under 25 years old. Maybe 26. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Can't be an old fart like us. <laughs> We're almost 30, dude. You're almost 30. <laughs> You're already 30. <laughs> <laughs> I am almost 32. You're right. Fuck, dude. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of sad that we're almost going to we're gonna be old. We're almost not going to be, be able to have children. Like, we won't be able to get pregnant anymore. Because once you're, once you're past 30, your ovaries start shriveling up. That's what I hear, dude. That's a good thing. Yeah. You don't yeah, got to use rubbers true. anymore. Yeah, I know. I don't got, I don't got to be worried about getting pregnant no more. <laughs> yeah, I, know, yeah. <laughs> I saw that name. I was like, "Oh, it's that dude." <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. Yeah, I was well, yeah sh- it's right there. I was gonna show it to you. Uh, it's just funny. Uh, oh, he's throwing it out. He's throwing out the beer. The chuggability was easy. I'm gonna finish the beer. I think it's shitty, but 
I need to finish it. I got to do it for all the beer buds out there who wanted to be here, who couldn't make it to this award ceremony. All right. I'd like to thank Beer Buds Daniel, uh, our fallen comrade, Beer Buds Michael. Uh, he couldn't make it. He rest, may he rest in peace. He, he, he yeah, he died. He but this this award goes to this chug ability goes to Beer Buds Michael. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. In his memory. <laughs> in his, yeah, fuck his memory though. Fuck that guy. <laughs> you know what? We haven't seen a lot of people because they haven't been working out with me anymore. By the way, both of them. What happened? They want to get fat. <laughs> I like how you immediately go to like they want to get fat. It's so gross. It tastes disgusting. You did though. it, man. No, there's still some more. Oh. <laughs> Look, chugabilly is easy. It's just the taste is not good, dude. And then the bitterness is so bad. I think the warmer because it's changing warmer. my taste score. <laughs> Because it's warmer, it makes it more bitter, too. I, I, is this really, like, bad, or is it... It's average. No, I think, you know what? I, am I focusing on the bitter, the, the bitterness, though? Hold up. Yeah, you're focusing a lot on the bitterness. <sighs> I don't think the taste is good, though, though. I'm curious to what, what you... Game what do you think about the feel? Eh. Eh? Eh. Yeah? Yeah. I like the feel eh. on this one. That's yeah. 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 Eh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they're not working out anymore because they just want to get fat boys. I actually talked to him yesterday. He's like, "Hey, he's like, you." I told him like, "You're working out at home, David." He's like, "Nah, I'm not. Work I haven't been working out." I'm like, "Oh, so you just want to be fat, David again?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 trying to make, you're trying to fuck with him. He's like, "So you're gonna lose all your progress and you're gonna become fat again?" <laughs> <laughs> well, is he running? I don't know what. No, I don't think he injury. can. Yeah. yeah. Um. I mean, like, there, there's ways to work around, work out with those injuries. Like, there is 100%. And I'm like, all right, well. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Michael's getting fat. <laughs> like, how you, like, put it up? <laughs> Beer was Michael. He, he got fat before he died. <laughs> he, he died of obesity. <laughs> no, just, cause, cause the reason I say is because I know when he was working out with us, uh-huh. in three months, he did have a change, but it wasn't, in my opinion, it should have been more drastic. It was right. the eating, though. The eating is yeah. what gets you. And I talked, and and da- and Beerbuds David told me like, "Oh no, yeah, he he sh- he's uh, he agreed with me. He's like, but he he told me like Beerbuds Mike would send him pictures of food he would buy, uh-huh. and he would like continue eating out like a lot though, like every day every kind day. of thing. Like it's bad. Like David. Yeah. Like David. Like <laughs> and, uh, like, and like Beerbuds. Like David just straight up told me like, no, no, yeah, it's bad. He eats really shit. Because at least David tries to get like Chipotle yeah. or something. And then uh, Beer was Mike more like maybe one day he'll, he'll eat, have a healthy like meal with that one day, but then the other two times in that day he'll get like burger, burger, and, like fries oh, or who oh. knows what. I don't know what you would order, but beer, but but David told me like yeah he he ate shitty because like I I feel like it should have been more three months is still a short amount of time, but I think the pounds he should have shedded should have been more yeah. if he actually limited himself a little bit in eating, which he didn't in my opinion. That's not easy. It's not easy. It's fucking hard. Yeah. That's why me and habits. Beer Buds dad, 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 and are fat, too. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not obese. That's why we're still alive. We're almost getting there, though. We're going to be the next Beer Buds. We're going to be the next Beer Buds, Michael. Disappear, and then we're you guys going to have a ceremony for us, too. All right. Ooh. With that note, let's get to a taste score. Um, Beer Buds Carlos gave the Ponto from Pizza Port Brewing. Which has an ABV of 4.5% is a session IPA. A taste score of 4.5. Wow. A feel of 5. A smell of 8.5. I did like the smell, though. And a chuggability of 8. Okay. Beer Buds Daniel. Taste score of 7. Damn, feel, dude. <laughs> feel score of 8. Smell score of 7. And a chug of 8. Okay. Yo, yeah, that's some pretty good scores. Yeah, I'm trying to like. I don't really like the taste as much, but it's it's not bad. I'll drink it. I I really hated this beer. <laughs> <laughs> I I chugability like the taste and chugability really made it like the bitterness, but that didn't that didn't change my taste score. Before the four point five, I actually had it like a five. Okay. Um, I mean after more deliberation, damn four point five. Yeah. I just want to beat this one down. Yeah, it deserves to get beat down. I mean, so the good and smell, 8.5. I gave it Chugability yeah. an 8. That's um, not bad. 
But I think the other two taste and feel, I I can't do. I don't think I don't know. This so. is like a West Coast IPA though. Yeah, and it's a session, so they keep the like, alcohol low. Yeah, and maybe maybe the, the the feel it's not as thick. Yeah, but it, the yeah the, the the if you're not used to like a West Coast IPA, this one's like a fucking bitch. Oh, so it's like a downtown beast. LA. It's like like West Coast. Yeah, basically, yeah. like in your face. Yeah, with like homeless, like homeless people, people, like dirtying it up, like dirtying. trashy. Yeah, making everything look look nasty even yeah. smells nasty tastes nasty yeah yeah Yo, like that, that shit's been getting crazy here i want a homeless it's fucking a lot yeah there's there's a new spot <laughs> i was driving to my work where there wasn't homeless there before and they got they they, they, they set that shit up <laughs> yeah, everywhere dude. <laughs> it's cool they're humans they too. kicked them out of whittier trails now yeah oh they did yeah yeah finally. they had kicked them off they had kicked them off before at the green leaf belt because they were there and they kicked them out well, they put they sent them to shelters, which is cool. Um, yeah, they built a new shelter yeah. apparently. Oh, another one. Yeah. So that's already like three we have. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> At least our city's doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think like, there's fuck <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> there's too many. Oh, there's a new bill being passed, Carlos. You're gonna enjoy this one. Is it what? It's California news on the beer buds. We what? have a new bill. It's the California exit tax. So if you're gonna exit California. They're trying to pass a bill to where you pay 10 years in taxes. Is that real? <laughs> yeah, dude. I looked it up. No, I've been like, <laughs> yeah. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, I'm serious. But okay, okay. All right. There's that, that's there's, yeah, there's got to be something. There's something. It can't be okay. like 10 years. You have tax. to have assets of 30 million. In the oh, world. okay. But, oh, my. That. Oh, what a bunch of fucking assholes, dude. Yeah, but you know what? Even if they move to Nevada, wherever, or Texas, anywhere else. For 10 years, they have to pay to California. Yeah, an exit tax. Yeah, yeah, still. That's, That's no way that shit gets passed. Dude, I know that oh, that wow. was specifically made for companies. Yeah. Because they know some comp- companies have been leaving California. That is fuck, dude. That is some shit right That's there. shady shit, right? That is super <laughs> shady shit. Holy fuck. I mean, I would still leave. Especially with that kind of, I mean, Fuck I would try yeah. to, I would, if I was a company like that and I had that much money, I would I'd try to, now. I, I would lobby, first of all, yeah, I leave now. And then another thing is like, that kind of shit makes me want to even leave more. Does like, it gets you angry too? Like, I'm like, I'm not even like wealthy or anything, but that's kind of like, that's kind of fucked, man. Yeah, that is fucked. A hundred percent. Cause I was wealthy and shit, right? Like, I'm like, you're doing this cause you want people to leave. Cause like people are leaving cause they realize that like, your shit's too fucking overpriced. And so now you're going to. I'm like, all right, if you want to leave, want to take your money kind of thing. Like, fuck you. And I'm like, no, that's, if that's me, like, all right, fuck it. I'm still going to leave. Fuck you. Like, whatever. I'm just going to say, I'm pretty sure there's a way you could get out of that exit tax. You know how, like, Amazon, they have to pay their own taxes? Yeah. Spend the money, invest that's in true. themselves, that's and then they some, probably don't have to pay out. shit to the exit tax and California yeah. fucks itself. That is some fuck shit, dude. That's like when you leave your employer to go to a place that you find out is going to, like, pay you better. And it's not going to cost you as much to work in that area, maybe. Yeah. And they're like, all right, but you got to give us like 10% of your earnings for the next <laughs> 10 years or some shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? We're like, what? Yeah. So like, should I not leave? No, you should still leave. Because if they're willing to do that, who knows what's going to happen down the road? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, fuck that. <laughs> That's some fuck <laughs> shit, dude. So they're trying to get that bill passed, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We have to they're make 30 to- million at least. No, your your uh your assets. assets have to be worth uh 30. thirty and above. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Companies. All right. That's fucked yeah. up. All right then. <laughs> up, <bro. laughs> That's some shit right there. Holy fuck. Damn, dude. When did you hear this? Uh last night. Last I night? I was uh on YouTube, I like I was researching like 10 best states to live in besides california and like those videos and i guess like because the algorithm saw california and it's like a new bill tr- was is being trying to pass is, is trying to be passed in california yeah like, there's no way it's gonna uh pass though for sure oh you finally looked it up yeah i've looked that mm-hmm. up a while ago but like was it ohio's on there i think um uh kansas city kansas no wait missouri right kansas city missouri I forgot yeah, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. Um, where Overland and Park Kansas is Kansas City, Kansas City. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, yeah, because I looked that up before, too, because I'm like, oh, we could, like, she should. I looked up at best cities 
I did best cities and best states to live in besides California and shit. Because yeah. there's a couple. But there's some places I wouldn't want to go. Like, Ohio's one of them, they said. But I'm not, I wouldn't want to go to Ohio, personally. Yeah. Um, I was looking at Detroit, too. I have a friend who might go to Detroit. Oh, yeah? And he said Detroit's freaking cool, but... It's fucking scary over there. I know. I hear scary <laughs> shit. I don't know. I've never been, so I can't say it's scary, but I've heard it's scary. I've been to the airport in Detroit. I don't fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the airport in Detroit. I remember Why? Because I did the Detroit airport. I, that's when I've had like the stops, you know? Yeah. Uh, when I would Toronto. go to Canada. Yeah, because yeah. it's so close to Toronto, yeah. Detroit. Yeah. And then um, I just remember, one, it's not, it's not, it's like LAX, shitty. Oh, I was like, yeah, LAX is, is shitty. Oh, yeah, been, fuck yeah, yeah. dude. You they know what the worst part of LAX is? The TSA. Oh yeah, for sure. They've been like remodeling, renovating LAX because I've, I've been working there. But it doesn't change the fact that that airport is still at the moment shitty for the most part. Like even the interior is still shitty. Like a lot of shit's still so fucking old. Um. But no, Detroit's similar. I think it's better looking than LA. I can't remember that well. But then the other thing too is like when I like the two times I've been there, was it Detroit? No. Two out of the times I've been there, I I got like delayed, like because I don't even know why. It just like my I just didn't get my flight. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Um, but I also think the people are shitty in Detroit. Detroit? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Cause trust me, I, that I do remember. I try I like they they they're so moody. It's like L.A. Like people say, I I've talked to some people, someone I know who's a flight attendant. He's like, in L.A., people keep to themselves. Yeah, and so a lot of people like that, right? If you go to other states, some like some states like Texas, for example, like people are in your business, but they're also very friendly because they're in your business. They're like then your business. I think one because they want to get to know you, and two like. It's like, the, this is how I feel. Like, in L.A., if they see your neighbor and they see hear you scream yeah. and, like, maybe they hear a gunshot, they're not, they're not going to call the police, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that's why I, I see L.A., you know what I mean? Yeah. In Texas, if they hear that shit, your neighbor's going to come out with his own gun. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, what the What's wrong, neighbor? <laughs> like, geez, <laughs> or, like, they'll call the police or some shit. So, not just Texas. I'm assuming it's more like, that's like a son has, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, uh, North Dakota's kind of like that too, probably. Yeah. Um, like those kind of areas more, where it's like, yeah, more yeah, rural. Yeah, more like community based and shit. Uh-huh. Where here in LA, I feel like people care less about their communities for the most part. Care less about their neighbors. They want their privacy. I want my privacy too. And you actually have a lot of space in Texas. But I, I'm more appreciative of the fact that people are nicer to each other. Like they're more human. If that makes sense. They're not just like, oh, I just got to get through my day, fucking drive, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, the driving in Texas is pretty bad, though. <laughs> you, you remember, they're pretty aggressive, too. They're like L.A. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Anyways. All right. That's it. So, our next one is. What did we say this one's called? The Swamis. Swamis. I'm double checking. Oh, wait. Before we go on. What do you think the Ponto got on Beer Advocate? I don't even know if it got a score on Beer Advocate, but I'm going to say, I'm going to guess, and I think it got a 70. I'm going to do 80. You're going to do 80? I'm going to say 70. All right. Let's see. Um, In the meantime, you can read out for Swamis. Uh, Ready? Let's see. So, we have been brewing. Oh, yeah. It is Swamis. We have been brewing Swami's IPA for over 20 years, so it finally share this in a can is a dream come true. Whatever your form of meditation is, we hope that each and every sip contributes to your own self-realization. Cheers. But it's an IPA, 6.8% ABV. So I guess it's our like staple IPA. 6.8%? Damn. Yeah. I'm a um, tall can too, yeah. by the way. So, Pizza Port is actually in Carlsbad, if you guys didn't know. Uh, it's brewery, It's a brewery, bar, eatery, and a beer to go. The, the address for this place, by the way, is 571 Carlsbad Village Drive in Carlsbad, California. <clears throat> There's a beer stats on Beer Advocate, actually. I kind of want to read that out. Average yeah. of all their beers is 3.97. They have beers, 350, what? Wow. 359 beers, I guess, a lot of, like, seasonal uh, reviews, there's been 1,822, and ratings, 6,386. Hmm, weird. Anyways, 
So we're going in to the, the very first one, which was, what was the first one again? The, the po- session. Ponte. Ponte. So the Ponto, the Ponto e- Session IPA had a beer advocate score. Let's see. Because I have it right here. Damn, they can't believe that that many. What? Of an 87. What'd you nice. say? God damn, you 80. said 80. Shit. Fuck yeah, dude. 87, dude? What? Yeah, because people love that taste, man. They Some love that bullshit. bitter shit, dude. And that, wait till we try this one. That's some crazy shit, dude. It's, that's fucking... That's right, ridiculous. Should we pop this open? Yeah, go for it, man. I'm gonna look up some pizza port, like, uh, history information real quick in the meantime. See if I can find anything. Do it. I do it, do it like I do mine. I was about to say something inappropriate. There's nothing inappropriate. If no, no, it was gonna here. be very inse- like weird. Sensitive? No, disgusting. Like, all right, so let's go to the history of Pizza Port. When you go to their website, you see Surf's Up, dude. You see this guy surfing and this dude skating, and then it has a history neon sign, and you press learn, and you go down. And this is their mission statement. Why does it have a mission statement as a beer company? What? That's like that's like a to tech get everyone buzzed. <laughs> If you see Silicon Valley, yeah, exactly. Right. If you see Silicon Valley, like they created a mission statement, it's like our our objective is to create beer that will make a world the world a better place. Like what, dude? Come on! Oh my God, they actually said something similar to that. Pizza Port is devoted to total customer satisf- satisfaction by providing the highest quality and the best service humanly possible while having too much fun. Yeah. We take ultimate pride in our standards by offering a completely unique drinking and dining experience. Our goal is only met if we make you happy and you have a great time every time. Good food and good beer bring good cheer. Nice. That's where the founders, the people behind it all. It's a man and woman. Uh, oh, yeah, you said them. Gino Marsa- Marsaglia, Marsaglia and Vince Marsaglia. Our history, how it all started. March of 1987, Gina and Vince. They're oh, they're siblings, sisters. yeah. In their twenties, body struggling pizza place in the sleepy coastal town of Salona Beach, just north of San Diego. Blah blah blah. So, because of the free space in the restaurant, they um, Vince actually started doing some home brewing there because they had, you know, they bought the pizza place. His hobby took off uh, um, because of his friends, and they had some fans. And then they ended up deciding to go into the brew pub business of Pizza Port and they ended up offering its first craft beers to patrons in 1992 and quickly gained a reputation in San Diego. San Diego's growing craft beer scene. Their second uh, location opened up in Carlsbad, actually. Location number three is in Sacramento in 2003. Uh, Carlsbad was in 1997. In 2008, Premium Bottle Shop was added adjacent to the Carlsbad, lo- Carlsbad location. That's kind of cool. Wow. Which offers... Um, Options from other breweries in the craft beer community. So, like, it's they have beer from other places. Sweet. And the very last location for Pizza Port Brewing was lo- it was opened up in Ocean Beach in 2010. Oh, shit. They had one more. Sorry, I lied. Location number five was opened in 2013 in Brassy Ranch Community of Carlsbad. That's, wow. that's so many. They have a lot of locations. I know. What the fuck? And introduced a canning line to allow Pizza Port beers to find their home on store shelves across San Diego County. It's fucking cool. So far, Pizza Port has won 91 medals and awards from the Great American Beer Festival. Um, and then what else? Through all the girl, da, da, da. and yeah, that's it. That's not bad. See, I think my beer was better. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. So that's their history. That's them. That's kind of cool. They started off buying just a thing. I always appreciate that. That's the journey of beer, and that's why beer is amazing. Because beer is a journey in and of itself, you guys. Yeah. I'm serious. You guys think I'm fucking joking, but it's true. I'm not. I, I just enjoy beer because I think it's great. It's a journey, dude. It's an experience. Here's the little pop. I agree. Whoa. That was a good one. I mean, cans are always going to be better than bottle caps for the most part. Mm. Unless you get a really good bottle cap snap. Yeah. I need to clean out my old, my stein. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> this is going to take a while. <laughs> this is going to be a little harder. All right. So you do the little cleanup. If you guys don't know, you clean up the stein by like, you know, by really rotating the beer around, getting the all the old juices. Actually, this is a little bit easier because it's so yeah. big. So I just like, just, yeah, yeah. I just swish it around. And I just do this. 
Nice. Ah, that's good. Mm. What is this? An IPA? Yeah. I've been disappointed with the IPA, the Pell L so far today. I mean, this is a mixture of the previous one, so that's probably what I'm tasting. Pizza Port? How are you? Have five locations. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's understand. Obviously, it's obviously not a... Carlos is a uh, taste bud. Right? Yeah, it's no, no. Like, Honestly, I have two high class taste buds. The fact that Pizza Port is not living up to my <laughs> pace taste buds is not their fault. They're low class. I'm high class. I'm making ten figures now this year. It's not their fault, man. They can't. They can't fucking appease my taste. They can piece the com- the piece of commoner taste like beer with Daniel over here just with five figures, you know. Yeah. But but people like me who own fucking compounds and even countries and islands. I bought a city, dude. I bought a fucking city in the middle of fucking nowhere. I don't even know what they do in the city. I think they like produce crack and cocaine or some shit. I don't know. Is that Pyongyang? No, it's a, uh, it's um, it's called a. Uh, I don't know what the city's called. It's like an Elmswood. Elms, I don't know. You have you ever seen that TV show, uh, Shit's Creek? No. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 TV show is based on me. So I bought a city, and they just copied me. Are so, you the, the 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 gay son? No. Let's see the characters no, based off. Of, I, yeah. I'm not gay, dude. You're not gay. I'm pansexual. Oh, okay. shit. I like all kinds of things. So that earlier Michael shitting in your mouth. Oh yeah, that's one that, of my kinks. That's oh, that's just a kink. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't like Michael. <laughs> I just like shit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a shit seeker. Yeah. <laughs> I just seek all the biggest shits I could find, dude. You know what's my real fucking dream? Is to have do you guys remember from Wrestling Federation? The the Whoa. Hawaiian dude with the big ass. Rakishi. Rakishi. <laughs> I want him to shit. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so bad, remember? Uh if you don't know, look up WWF because it's called it was WWF, it was WWF at that time, WWF, yeah. yeah. And his name Rokishi. He was like some Hawaiian dude, I think. <laughs> and he had like, he was some big dude. ass dude. He was almost like sumo wrestler size. And, and yeah, I want his butt cheeks on my mouth while he's shitting. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm, I'm fucking joking. Look, be clean. Don't let people shit in your mouth. All right. Only take golden showers. Maybe piss in your mouth. Yeah, pee is sterile. Yeah, pee is sterile. It'll mm-hmm. actually clean up and detoxify your bodies. It's one of the new uh, health crazes with rich people is that you get um, a little Asian boy. You you feed him. You make him drink like a gallon of water. So his pee's mm-hmm. clear. And then you let him piss. In, and then you let him piss in a cup. You drink the cup. And it like detoxifies your body. So you have to have Chinese it. secrets. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask you, is that why he has to be Asian? Yeah, he has, to, he has be. to be a boy. Yeah, he has to be a boy. Girls can't do it. Oh, because they can't collect the pee. Yeah, God, it's yeah. too hard to pee in a cup yeah. for a girl. Yeah, it's got to be a guy, dude. That's true. Uh, like, it makes it easier aim, you know, like, yeah, it's got to be a guy. <laughs> yeah, because pee is so sterile. It's like drinking <laughs> drinking sanitizer like Donald Trump's. <laughs> Did he say that? It, it kills all the virus. It detoxifies your not body. Say that. <laughs> You know, he, did, he said something. <laughs> it was stupid. Like, all right, I understand. What, you know, oh, like, he said injecting, injecting, like with, something uh, similar. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's, he's like pulling it out of his ass. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> like, it's kind of like the shit I pull out of my yeah, ass, right? Exactly. But <laughs> yeah, but like, I get what he's trying to say, but it sounded so stupid. <laughs> we have solutions. He's you like, maybe, yeah. Inject. Um, we have uh, doctors here who can inject you with maybe some sanitizer <laughs> and some Lysol, maybe. Because <laughs> you know, he's like, like we know hand sanitizer uh, kills the virus, right? That's what he said. And then afterwards, like, like why can't we just like somehow make it like safe? And then like we just in- inject. He's like it. looking out at the doctors while he's yeah. like, saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you it's can like, figure it out, right? Yeah. He's like, we can, like, inject hand sanitizer or something to make it safe, though. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that shit was funny, dude. 
like I get what he's trying to say. Like he's like, oh yeah, like maybe somehow engineer so it doesn't hurt us. Yeah. But they probably told him like, okay, uh, sir, you have to go up there and just make the American people feel safe. Like we got it under control. He's like, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Trump. Oh, shit, dude. He's a character, man. No wonder he had that TV show, You're Fired, or whatever it's called. The Apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, back to the beer. We've been joking around now too much. We're going to continue reviewing Pizza Port. We got the Swamis, which, again, is just an IPA at 6.8%. Pretty I impressive. Yeah. I would love to know what Swamis means. Uh, it's almost like shawarma. Oh, yeah. You can look right? it up. Yeah, because I'm a drinker. Hmm. I gotta say that the smell on this is actually. I think I'm a fan of the smell. So far, the smells the on here, yeah, it's a solid smell. It's a very standard IPA smell. If you've smelled an IPA and you know what a decent smell of an IPA is, this is what that smells like. I think it's very standard. So, I I wouldn't say it's a high scoring smell for sure, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think the taste is also let me let me give a double check on the taste there. I think mm. Swami's is gonna be a beach. Oh, the taste is actually kind of nice. It's a little, it's definitely floral, super floral. Well, no, that's the bitterness. The bitterness afterwards is a floral bitterness. Um, like if you were to bite into a flower kind of thing or some shit for sure. Okay, so Swami's is like a beach in San Diego. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Um. Hmm. I feel like in my head, I had a very good description for how the taste is, tastes like. You know what it is? It's almost like a, 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 a Marzen. A Marzen? A German Marzen, yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, the very beginning, just the beginning portion of it. But then it starts turning into an IPA, like the bitterness and the hoppiness. It's very It has hoppy. like a little sweetness to it in the beginning. I yeah. think it has a little sweetness, right? Mm hmm Yeah, you're yeah right. it definitely does have some sweetness to it in the beginning. Almost like honey-ish. Like it kind of like uh, engulfs the, the outside of your mouth. Yeah. No, for sure it has some sweetness to it. It's almost like the sweetness in those imperial styles or something like that. Uh, caramelish. I don't know what it is, but definitely has some sweetness in the beginning. I don't know what that is. But taste isn't bad. It, it's grown on me. The very first time I think it was because it was mixed with the Session IPA, that shit was disgusting. I still hate the Session IPA. Don't drink the Ponto. Pizza Port, let me tell you guys, Ponto just isn't it, dude. That's that's not it. Just remove it from your lineup. Damn, that sucks because they're just they're like adding a new wing dedicated to brewing the Ponto. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> That'd be hilarious. Ponto only. <laughs> Wait, is it Ponto? What? Is it Ponto? Ponte. Ponto. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ponto. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> We just added a new Ponto wing. It's like a theme park. <laughs> you know, like they have Star Wars and shit. We took out a loan recently to upgrade <laughs> our brewery to only making Ponto because everybody loves it. Yeah. I can't believe Beer Advocate gave you the Ponto in 87. This is when you when I know they're such full of shit, dude. They're, they're, they're like reviews. Like 87 so high for this beer, for the Ponto one, previous one. People like it. People love that that sort of taste. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Maybe in San Diego, because it's like maybe they love like beach and salt beach. and like bitterness and like water and like salty water. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. That shit was all those like, surfers that hit their head on the rock. Yeah, that, they, their, their taste buds get fucked up from all the salt water. It like, in, burns their they tongue. <laughs> Inhale that salt water. They don't know what smells good. It's all that kelp in their teeth. <laughs> all that well sperm. <laughs> Stupid ass surfers. <laughs> the smell is decent though here. Um, I think I know what my smell score for this is. Yeah, I haven't put it in yet. Or did I? No, I didn't put it in. Um, taste I'm having difficulty giving a score. Because I am a fan of it, but it's not like great. I still like Happy Hops IPA more, Blind Pig more. Oh yeah, Pliny sure. the Elder for sure. More like, and those that like, if you guys, if you've listened to the previous podcasts for Russian River, you know that the Russian River beers, most of them all got a taste score of at least an eight. So this can't be an eight, I, at least I think so. Mm. Yeah, okay, I think I'm confident with this score. 
I'm good with this. Now the feel. I haven't even thought about the feel. What you think, man? Mm. 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 It feels okay. It's nothing special for me, I think. You're right. It is okay. Um, I hundred percent agree. I mean, I'm, what do you think honest, about the taste and smell and all the other shit, though? Like everything. Like I, I, I like the taste better in this one than than the previous Ponto, but I don't know. I don't like that. I'm. I feel super full right now. Oh yeah. I think it's. I think IPAs can be very. F- Filling. filling yeah yeah that's what i don't like about them anymore yeah they can be very very filling it's a bitch to like keep is it the of... hoppiness the hops i guess so. it, I, I think it has to be because it doesn't look thick because it has to be the carbs and the hops or some shit i don't know because ho- hops are technically a plant right mm-hmm. and plants have carbs you just started i'm like that sounds so stupid (laughs) after like pants have carbs (laughs) yes they do (laughs) a good observation (laughs) what the fuck is that pants have carbs you know yeah yeah they they do dude what else did you gotta say (laughs) It's just stupid. Whatever. My point is that I think, yeah, I think it is just a feeling. I don't know what it is. I think it is the hops. Maybe it makes you feel full because yeah. I don't know what the fuck it is, though. It's a good beer. I mean, I'd, I'd recommend it for someone who really, really knows what they're doing when they when they order IPAs. Yeah, 100%. I think this is an IPA type of person that would order this. If you're a normal mm-hmm. person, I don't think you order this. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, if you're, you're a normal beer press, drinker. press your date, maybe you can order it, but... They won't even know what you're drinking. The bitterness is starting to, as I get deeper into the beer, it's actually like, it's like settled at the bottom. What the fuck? Yeah, for me. Mmm. Whoa, the bitterness has increased a lot. As I, as, like for me, I feel like it's settled at the bottom. That doesn't make sense. It should be homogenous, like a, yeah. the whole beer, but. Maybe psychological. I don't maybe know. psychological. Maybe I haven't been paying attention to the bitterness, but whoof. God damn, that is hoppy as fuck. That's I don't like when that happens, by the way. When they do it too much with the IPAs, like that bitterness. Yeah. But it's not just the, these guys. Like It's all those breweries down there. They make them all like this. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that really fucks it up. It's getting really bad. <laughs> I'm like wanting to throw this shit. <laughs> oh. All right, well, we got the check ability. I think you're yeah. ready, right? Um, any closing comments on it for taste, feel, or smell? Um, I think it's it's a solid IPA, like a real IPA. So it's not one to be fucked with. Okay, so yeah, you would say like people who like IPAs. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, gotcha, for sure. Gotcha. All right, well, we got the chuggability. Welcome again to the beer buds for the chuggability challenge. If you are able to compete against the beer buds and chug your beer faster than the beer buds can, you will be given one hundred dollars and a chance to win one thousand dollars when we have the ultimate beer buds cha- challenge. This is, is dollars in Animal Crossing, by the way. Yeah, just, this is fake. Be- this is beer buds dollars, beer buds dollars. <laughs> which or can be redeemed the- for beer buds hugs, <laughs> maybe There's high fives. <laughs> Low jobs if you have enough. Shout outs. Maybe we'll make you a little card or something. Or we'll give you, we'll, we'll say like, yeah, we really like this guy on our Instagram page or something. Dude, I have an idea for a fucking logo. It'll be like a fucking cool ass like. I thought you were drawing a penis for a second. No, dude, it's a buff arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are you trying to draw a penis or no, what? Yeah, uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Billy Challenge. This is the Big Rats. Let's okay. clink it, boys. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. All right. I always stop with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Thank you.
A moment of silence. I was so scared. <sighs> As I was drinking it, I could smell it. <laughs> you could smell it? It was it's so overpowering. <laughs> You're drinking hops and you're smelling hops at the same time. And you're like, oh, my God, it's so overpowering. It's almost like you're sniffing hard liquor. It was so bad, dude. Can you s- Look, chugabee was easy. Don't get me wrong. It's just I feel right now the hops has really gotten to me, like the bitterness in this beer <clears throat> Compa- and the, bit- the previous one, too. It's super dry, too. So it leaves your yeah. mouth all weird. But the chug, of- it, 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 it's super chuggable. It's just. I think there's difficulty. I don't know. If, would, I guess would that make it not chuggable? The, the difficulty? Uh, and That's kind of how I'm grading. I'm grading it like my experience chugging it right now. And it's not. Like what, what stopped me too is it's weird because it had carbonation still. Mm. Carbonation and that super bitterness and that super heaviness. Yeah. I felt it even in my stomach. Yeah, and you have a fat stomach. So I do. Like, so you. So I could pull a lot of shit. Yeah. In there. So the fact that you were able to t- like feel it in your stomach is crazy to me, dude. Like it's crazy. Dude. Like how, how? Like how is that even fucking possible, man? Like, I don't know, bro. Like you shouldn't be able to feel that in your stomach at all. I don't know, man. That's like, dude, that shit gave me nightmares. <laughs> I thought I was chugging hard liquor afterwards because of the, like the smell. Um, look, I still think it's super chuggable. If you're able to, to put up with the pain <laughs> of the smell and the hoppiness, cause it's, ah, uh, my tongue is so bitter right now, dude. Mm-hmm. Please tell me we're, le- we're ending with the honey blonde. No, <laughs> Are we? No, no we're not. <laughs> we're ending with a double. Dude. Oh shit, dude. I am not excited for that. I'm a- oh my God. Okay. I mean, this is so dry. I made my eye dry. <laughs> Um, all right, I have a little bit left. I chugged so much. I did a great job, in my opinion. Look you at did that. do a, what the fuck? Yeah. You did a good job. So dude. it was a lot, but I'm gonna finish this small amount right now. Let's give it up one more time for the beer buds, Cardos, and, and Daniel. Buds. Daniel, no, too. Beer buds, Daniel, Daniel didn't too. Do anything. Yes, no, no, just beer buds, Cardos. Daniel. Yeah, let's give it up. No, this is my own applause. So Boo. Boo. I finished it. Okay. <laughs> No, he didn't, guys. He didn't. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Uh, oh, my God. The the last part... Oh, God. That was so... Whoa, bro. Oh, God. I want to throw up. <laughs> that was so bitter. <laughs> the last part was the most... Because it has the head. You know how the head protects a lot of it? And so the head also has a lot... You know how, like, the reason you want head actually in your beer so you can... Like protect the the taste and the smell of it. And it's like a whole er, uh, aeration thing or something. No, I don't know. It's not aeration, aeration. I don't know. I, I can't pronounce it. So like the oxygen can't fuck it up. So head is like a protective barrier. Oh, be- kind of like pre cum. Yeah, I guess to the beer though. Yeah. So it's like uh, yeah, no, it's like a condom. Like a condom. So it protects the contents of the beer. Yeah. So like the the but the thing is the way it protects is it. it what does com- it protect it from? Oxygen? Uh, uh, yeah, oxygenation, so the air, and yeah, bacteria, air. Uh, just makes it. You know how like in wine they like oh you air aerate, aerate it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. And so what I that's what that, the don't you want oxygen to aerate the beer? No, you want it in the head, but not actually in the beer because the, the beer is the actual taste of it. Protects it, and then the 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 head is what like all that concentrate goes to uh-huh. in the air. I forgot. Like I remember read this up before, um, but basically that the what the head what ends up being at the very end, which is the head, like after it's everything with carbonate, it just ends up being really like the concentrated smells and taste of the beer. So it was a super concentrated bitterness of the beer, yeah, and the hops, and so it was. I was, oh my god, dude, that shit, fucking, uh, give you the shits. No, that <laughs> shit was that shit made my heart like Stop. burn, burn. I almost had a heart attack. That shit was bad, dude. Oh god, man. That beer induced dark, uh, heart attack. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what to do with this, dude. <sighs> The chubby was good at first, but now I don't even fucking know. I'm gonna go with this score. I think I'm 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 good with this score. I think this is fair. All right, I'm good. 
All righty, me too, man. You good? All right. Good. Beer, but <laughs> you still have your beer. I <laughs> shit out of the beer lab. You're going to pour it out? <laughs> I might, yeah. I don't want this beer. <laughs> yeah, just pour it out, dude. Fuck it. I'm going to sip because we don't get to the next beer until after the scores. Yeah, true. All right. Beer, but Carlos gave the Swami's IPA from Pizza Port Brewing a taste score of, ladies and gentlemen, a seven. What? A field score of? Seven. Five. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you so sorry? <laughs> a smell score of. I thought you were going to say seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> a checkability of. Five. Seven. What? The I, I told you, I thought checkability was actually pretty decent. It's just like, I, I ignored the hoppiness and shit. If you're able uh-huh. to put up with that, I think actually, like, just drinking the liquid itself is easy. Uh-huh. It's the after effects. <laughs> it's the after effects. It's so fucking hard. It's so bad, dude. The after effects, like, oh god. Anyway, but yeah, that's my thing. Be with Daniel. Alrighty. So taste seven. Feel of seven. Smell of seven. Wait, wait sorry, I just actually did something. Hold on, okay. All right, seven, seven, uh, seven. Wait, wait, what the fuck did I? Do? Oh my god, what am I doing? Control right. Z, bro. Taste of seven. Feel of seven. Okay. And smell of seven. Uh, and chug of five. Awesome. But mainly, it's the chug is most, mostly my fault because I'm a bitch. <laughs> so I think uh, Carlos is right. It deserves a higher grade for sure. But I, to me, I give it a five. Just so you know, mm-hmm. our average rating for this beer is the same. Overall. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't think we've never really... We, we have had average rating be the same. But it hasn't been often. It's been maybe once did, or twice. But we did last time we did one that we were all the same. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. That was... Yeah. That was the best. That was... Like, that, I think that was our first time ever everything being the same. That was... Yeah. That was sick. It would have been crazy if, like, when Michael was here, we all would have had the same. I know. There was that one time we were crazy. so close. Yeah. And then one... Two scores were off amongst all three. So only two scores were different. That was Damn. so fucking crazy. Yeah. All right, then. What do you think your advocate score is? You know what? <laughs> All right, you go first. No, you go first because I right. went first last time. I'll do ninety four. I'm thinking it's an. I was thinking high too. I'm <laughs> thinking it's an eighty nine, dude. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, beer advocate. We're gonna find out what beer advocate says. <clears throat> Swami's IPA is. I swear to God, they're gonna be fucking crazy about it. Yeah, Swami. Uh wait what? All right, IPA American. I know it's higher based on what I'm seeing right now. Ninety one. Wow, that's high. Dude. I was about to say ninety, but I got eighty nine. That is high as fuck, dude. I give it eighty nine. You gave ninety four, so I got a point this time. Fuck you, bitch. You won by like a point. Uh yeah, I did. Yeah, you're right. I won by. By a point difference. So technically, I also won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's been the Swamis from Pizza Port Brewing. Next, we're going to be fucking going to the California Honey from Pizza Port Brewing. I'm, 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 this I'm excited for because it's a honey blonde ale and I need a fucking break from these IPAs. That's why I thought it'd be good to put it in between before we get into the boss. Yeah. (laughs) I need a break, dude. These shits are being fucking brutal, man. Woo, this shit's nice and cold. I like it. So I'll read it off this time. California Honey from Pizza Port Brewing Company. A blonde ale brewed with honey. Woo wee. It says brewed and canned by Pizza Port Brewing, Carlsbad, California. Uh, this is again a 4.8% ABV beer. Uh, and then what else did I say? Oh, yeah, it's a blonde ale brewed with honey. Very simple. Nice. Uh, I, like, I like honey beers, honestly, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. So experience the taste of California from the palm of your hand. California honey is light and refreshing with hints of sweetness and a crisp finish. This honey soaked blonde ale has been a pizza port favorite since the early days. Now you can take the sweetness of California with you wherever you go. Cheers. Enjoy the honey blonde ale. That was good. (laughs) Enjoy. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm actually excited for this one personally. Dude, is this all my beer in the quok? Right yeah, now? that's all your beer. <laughs> <laughs> I have drank every beer so far today because I haven't drank this week. Well, I God drank a small damn. little cup this week, but that's it. Here's the pop. Can we get a drum roll? That's not a that's drum not roll. A <laughs> I don't have a drum roll. So. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Smells like sulfur. I feel like I encountered that a lot in the blondes and pilsners. Yeah. Like oh, the sulfur yeah. smell. I love that smell now. Because yeah. it reminds me of the Lambic uh, when we checked oh, out the, the Lambic. Lambic. Yeah. Dude. You guys didn't like Cantillon Brewery that much, but I I liked it. I what remember. do you mean? I loved it, too. I remember you guys were complaining about it. Like, what do you mean? Oh, the it's like wine, like the goose. Remember the oh. $30 bottle? I bought a 41. Oh, yeah, but I just said to talk shit. Actually, I, if you guys don't know, Cantillon Brewery is like a wine beer or beer wine kind of almost. No, it's, it's not that. They're beer. Almost. It's beer, but it's like super aged. Yeah, super aged. It's a weird, weird taste. And yeah. it's a weird experience overall. It is. We should have some on the, on the beer buds. Be Can't cool. see Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. I because I remember I bought. So they had different. Um, this is how I explain it. They have a base beer, how they make the rest of their beers, most of the rest of their beers, and that was the fuck. What was it called? Shit. Do you remember the name of what they called it? Hold on. I, I spilled some beer. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. I don't remember what they called it. I don't think Beer Buds Daniel remembers what they called it. Wait. Which one? Uh, the base that they use for their... Oh, I think it was just a Lambic. Yeah, the Lambic. Yeah. So they use the Lambic for the base. But their their base is actually aged... Oh, this is what... Oh, yeah, it's aged like a year. And then their next st- step up was like... They have their aged one-year Lambic with one that's only recently brewed. Which is like a month or something or two months, remember? Uh, like they mixed the, up yeah. both of those together, and then that's how they get their second step the beer. Second tier. Yeah. Um, they had a really high tier beer, which is the one I bought. I actually liked it. However, it's very, it's, it's like a beer wine for sure. It's not wine because I hate wine, but it's, a, it's like a mixture of both of them. It's a slow sipper, it's not a chug, it's not a chugger. And I got a bottle of it, and it's like 40 bucks for a bottle, and the bottle only did like four glasses and that was from the brewery too. yeah and it was like, like where gla- they do you know? it it didn't fill that many glasses it would be probably like maybe two pints maybe two pints for 40 bucks yeah about yeah um but it was good i liked it they didn't like it they did help me drink it um it uh, was good you guys like the just reason, a regular goose i, I like think. the yeah my favorite one was the base basically the Olympic. yeah that one was i i like that one more I'm not into the age stuff, but I could see why people would like it. It just makes it like it smells different Mm -hmm. and it tastes different and it feels different. But then what's interesting, too, is they also had a tier where they took the Lambic and they took I think they aged it for I don't know how many years. It was probably like five years or something. Yeah, that's the the, isn't that that's the most expensive one. I think it was. No, this was before that one. Because, oh, it might no, but this isn't mixed yet. Mm. It's the base. It's the Lambic when they do. They pick the best color, the best taste, and then it's like a smaller batch. Yeah. So it's, I think it might be like the second tier or something. Like that. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the, so. Best, the, be- the best case scenario yeah. of the Lambic. That show was awesome. The tour was cool, too. The tour was pretty As cool. much as they think I insulted the lady, that wasn't my intention. It didn't insult her. It sounded she like, took it, it like an insult. At, at first. <laughs> at first. Until you're like, I didn't insult you. Or what did you tell me? No. At first, like, did you practice that? <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and, and then she's all like, she's all like, yeah, I do this. Like, every day. I'm like, okay. But she looked at you like. Yeah, weird. And I'm like, and then, like, and then I explained the reason. I'm like, because that was, like, really, really good. <laughs> like, and it still seemed like sarcasm. <laughs> did it really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Then, well, I explained to her, like, no, because I was severely impressed. I'm like, whoa. That felt like super, like, because I've been to tours before. I don't like tours generally, but her, she, it was really impressive. Like, you don't like tours? No, I don't. I'm not a tour Dude, guy. But when we went to Alcatraz, you were like super. <laughs> <happy>. <laughs> this bitch. Um, I'm not a tour dude. I, I like tours where they give you a quick explanation, like what she did, and then you self tour. 
Those I'm cool with. Self tours are the shit. Yeah, because you actually get to do your own exploring on your own, and I don't, I don't like listening to a person for fucking. It's like teaching like a class. Like I'm not, I'm not I don't want to do that shit no more. I rather learn shit myself and read it myself, and you know. So you don't pay for master class? No, it's like an adventure, you know, like yeah. Alcatraz. That's why they want to do the audio tour. That just seems so fucking boring, dude. <laughs> Can't believe fucking beer, uh, beer uh, Japoy boy and uh, Kayleen wanted to do that fucking shit. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to go sit down outside and just be on my phone <laughs> while it's raining. <laughs> I appreciate it because, like, honestly, like, there's a part of me that likes the... I love the history. So, mm. Wei and I went to Alcatraz, and she's just like you. She's like... Fuck the audio tour because she gets bored. Yeah. And I was kind of sad. I'm like, fuck, I really want to hear it, but oh well. And then Just when, go Je- when Jeffrey's like, oh, let's do the audio tour, I was like, all right, cool, man. Like, I didn't, I never, I didn't do it last time, so I wanted uh, to do it. So I that's pretty cool. See, this is what I prefer. If they gave me a pamphlet, like self tours with history, yeah. I would do that. And while I'm at that location, I just read it. Yeah. I don't like audio tours. I, it's I guess it's like audiobooks. You know, I don't really oh, like yeah, yeah. I don't like listening to that shit either, but yeah. Um yeah, yeah, I guess it's similar to that shit, right? So but yeah, that shows <laughs> So Wei didn't do the tour either? Where did she, she go? She didn't want to do the audio tour. Oh, huh? but she ended up doing it? We just walked around. Oh. We just like walked around for like two hours. <laughs> okay. I just sat down for like an <laughs> hour and a half. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm fucking whatever. I'm bored, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I, I had a feeling Alcatraz was going to be boring. <laughs> but I was like, fuck it. Chapoipo wants to go. And then we went to that stupid ass house, too. Oh, the haunted house. Yeah. But that fuck shit was it. scary, dude. Chapoipo wanted to go. Let's go. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to because Way, another one that Way didn't want to go to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to go to it either. But sometimes you guys go to things you don't want to go to, but you want to, like, your friend wants to go to and your company them, which is fine. Yeah. Like, you guys have told me, like, eh, I didn't want to go, but, like, you wanted to go, so I went with you. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, that's what friends do. They go with you. They accompany you. Because maybe they'll end up liking it. Because that's the thing. Look, I didn't want to go, but I'm like, maybe I'll like it. Yeah. I didn't end up liking it. <laughs> but I was like, eh, I'll, I'll still go because maybe I will like it. So it's yeah. better to try things. Like, even if you think in your head you're not going to like it, you should still try it. Because you don't know. You might end up liking it. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go. For example, um, what's something that I know I don't like and I still go to? I don't know. I can't think Snuba of it. Snuba diving? No. <laughs> uh, that one is more of a a scared thing. Yeah. I've almost, I've almost, let's, see, I, let's see if I can almost die. No, no. For me, it's because I almost drowned once in my life. Uh-huh. So because I almost drowned, Snuba diving to me was scary, but... It's because it's scary. I wanted to like do it, do it okay. to kind of overcome a barrier. And I've, I've like breathed through an actual SCBA before and I know how it feels like. So it's cool. Right. So I've had some experience in that. Um, so I was like, all right, let's just do it. But I, I really want to do it just because like I've almost drowned. And I think when you have fear or something, it makes it harder when you get in those situations again mm-hmm. to overcome that fear. Right. And it's why I took swimming lessons because of like to overcome the fear. Oh, really. is that what it is? Too? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is oh, a little bit good. of that. It's exercise and it's a little bit of that. Yeah, for sure. Because you, I, I, you want to be able to like move past it, and at least, yeah. or at least, like confront situations where it's uncomfortable for you. You can try to calm yourself. Because mm. I know when I told you my when I did snuba diving, I like went down and I couldn't pop my ears and I panicked a little bit because it hurts. If you don't pop your ears when you go snuba diving or scuba diving, whatever it is, because of the pressure, um, if you don't, and I guess I was doing it wrong. I didn't know how to do it, right? It it fucking hurts. Your ears are fucking hurting. Yeah, yeah. So I, like, panicked, and I went up. And because I panicked, and this is why I'm saying panic is such a bad thing for us as humans. When you panic, that's when you start fucking up. Whether it's driving, my... My wife, she panics when we drive. Dude, that's funny. I was about to say when Asian. No, oh, well, no. He's like driving. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, Asian. But when you panic and you're, and you're driving doing anything, that's when you make the worst decisions ever about what you're doing. 
Uh, but I panicked and then I stopped breathing incorrectly. So then I had water in my like uh, in my mat, ma- yeah, my ma- my nose or mask area, and so I'm like, oh shit! And I had to go back up real quick. You weren't gonna drown, a hundred percent, but you're panicking now. And so I got up there and I had to relax. I was there for like uh, at the top for three minutes. So it was another girl. It was me and two other people. Yeah. Another girl was up there too. Um, the girl was the girlfriend of the guy. There was a guy there, so they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And she was up there, and I'm like, "Yeah, I just gotta take a breather." I pan. I told him straight up, like I just panicked uh, because my ears were hurting, and then because of that, I ended up not breathing correctly and whatnot. So, um, because I ended up breathing through my nose, yeah. shit. Um, when you're supposed, everything's supposed to be through the mouth because it's like uh, this one is not like a whole face mask. It's just oh, it's the, just a breather. It's just a mask. Like a, it's almost a, like a re-breather. it's a rebreather. That's all. Oh, it, is. it is a rebreather. It's just a mask one. It's just a mouth one. Yeah, oh. and it's connected to a line. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, I ended up going to, I was up there for like two minutes and I relaxed. I calmed my breathing through deep breathing, Wim Hof. And I'm like, all right. And I asked them again how to do the, like the ear pop. So I went down and the the first time is cause I had such a quick descent, like boom, I was like 20, like 30 feet down, like very quickly. Cause you exhaust all the air and that's how you like. Well, that's how you, you yeah, think. because you, if you remove the air from your body, that's how you descend real quick. Do you do it through breathing too? Like breathing, actually like to, to exhale yeah. everything? Like breathe and, then and then you exhale everything out and then you just yeah. fucking fall. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. so, so you don't become, you, just, you don't like, become buoyant. You're not buoyant yeah. anymore. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's how you fall down in a pool too, anywhere you can sit down in the bottom of a pool. Um, I would do it a lot in, when I was in swimming classes, when I was taught it, because I really want to get over, like, oh, being underwater and whatever. Uh, but the first time, I went down so quick. So I did the same thing the second time. And then once I got, like, maybe that 15 feet, I said, I, I like, breathed in. And then I, I like, did the, the, the actual proper way of blowing out the ear so the ear, ear is on the clock. And then, I, and then I went down even deeper. And then that was good. Yeah. And then we, just, we were just waiting down there for the girl to come down. It's funny because at 10, 15 feet, like, 15 feet down, or 20 feet? I think we're 20 feet down. Uh-huh. It's murky as fuck. Whoa. You can't see shit. That's crazy. Because it's like, yeah, it's like, it's really dark. But, because it's like, it's like, think of it like head oh. of a beer, yeah. right? But then once you got past that 20 feet, it's all clear. You that's can see insane. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, that's, that's it's actually how, that's a great way to put it for people who drink beer. The top part, the, the first 20, 30 feet, is it's murky it's it's the head of a beer you can't see shit yeah. once you pass that portion though everything's so clear like you can see everything in the fucking vicinity like oh, everything's crazy. clear you see the fishes and there's one other fish animal down there yeah there was a lot of animals down. i told you there's oh, a shitload see, of animals see, i'm not scared of like diving breathing but I'm scared of the fucking animals, dude. No, there weren't any dangerous animals. I don't want a great white to come no. out of nowhere and just <laughs> snatch me up, dude. Or a tiger shark. There wasn't going to be a... stingray. A... No, dude. There an wasn't... eel. We Snoop would die with a stingray. What do you mean? I mean, yeah. not Snoop, but we snorkeled yeah. and there yeah, was a stingray. That's true. I didn't... I, the reason was because I didn't know they fucking were there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... That was scary, remember? Yeah. Um, no, know. the weird part about that that place, this is when we went, by the way, to uh, um, not really Cancun. Shellha. Uh, yeah, Riviera de Maya, and it's Shellha or Eshkare, whatever. But the place we went to is Shellha. Yeah. Uh, Shellha in Mexico. And we it, went to... the fly into Cancun. Yeah. And we went there, and there was... Um, yeah, we went uh, snorkeling, went on. There was a stingray. And the funniest part is that the 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 entrance into the theme park <laughs> or the like nature reserve, this is was the scarier part. The all that was holding was a net. But the like net a little net. Yeah. But the net only went halfway up the water. So let's say the water is like thirty feet deep. It only covered 15 feet of the deepness. So then there's still 15 feet. Like a shark could just come yeah, in. Easily. <laughs> yeah. If he wanted to, he could go right through the net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't know. He could just go over it. It was just weird. So I was like, whatever. But I mean, sh- 
I don't think we should be afraid of sharks. There was a video. I think I, did I sent it to you. You don't think we should be afraid of sharks? No, because there's a video of like what sharks are attracted to. There's human blood. They don't really get attracted to human blood. Even it's it's always been fish blood. There's a video. I'll show. It. I'll send it to you later. But Mark Rober did a test. Yeah, you showed it to me in uh, Austin. Oh yeah, yeah. It was cool, and like there were so many at the. It's because bro, he had a fucking like robot surfboard like <laughs> if there were to be a flapper a person swimming there the shark would have fucking ate that person <laughs> oh well, no 100 percent. but because of the fish but fish blood <laughs> dude uh no but that's the biggest the biggest uh, according to science the biggest reason why sharks sometimes attack people on surfboards mm -hmm. is when they're paddling the underside yeah, the looks paddling. like a seal it does yeah yeah like because well, it's white it's not there it's not the shark's fault necessarily yeah it's because they get mistaken for seals mm -hmm. the humans or not even that. I've heard too on Shark Week, like that sharks they fucking bite your arm off just because they're curious. They're just gonna go check out what you are, right? Because they never, they don't know what humans are necessarily. So if they're gonna go investigate, they don't have arms. So they'll be like, "Oh, this is Carlos." Like they'll just fucking like grab you with their mouth and just like eat your arm off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Because I mean, their brains are, are like that big. Yeah, they're just based on instinct. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, their instinct isn't to eat humans. Their instinct is to eat... They don't yeah, do it on yeah, purpose. Yeah. It's just that they're just killing machines. That's just what they do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm like... I, I, I still would be afraid of a shark, but I don't think it's justified for the most part. Statistically, maybe not. But yeah. even when I'm taking showers, like, in the cold, like a cold shower, for some reason, whenever yeah. I, like, close my eyes, I'm like... I just imagine like this fucking shark in front of me and I'm like, oh, I get freaked out, dude. I get creeps. I'm trying to smell this California honey. I can't smell it. Really? You I can you, smell it, yeah. you imagine a shark? Yeah, I don't know. It's what fucking it is. weird. Can you throw that? That's really, really, really weird, dude. What the fuck? So uh, when you're it's like a primal fear, I think. Yeah. Maybe an ancestor <laughs> died of a shark attack. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. I can't wait to go back to to Shaoha. I really do want to go back. I want to. I, I want to snuba dive again. You know what I want to do? I want to do Escaret Hotel, all inclusive. Just maybe Let's like four it. days, bro. Because it. it's worth it. Because yeah, it's like five hundred bucks a night. And then we could just go to Shaoha all the you time. Could, you could walk to Shaoha and walk to Escaret that's whenever you dope. want, and it's I, all beer included. Yeah, everywhere. Shell all food. Yeah. I, I would do show hall even at the hotel. But what about the activities? Everything. Oh no, those are on top though. That's gonna be everything. Because I do want to do the dolphin one actually. I'm the only do reason. Dolphin one. The only Fuck reason yeah. I didn't do the dolphin one is because I felt like it's a little bit animal abuse. It is animal abuse, dude. I, I mean, that's why the one I wanted to do wasn't the one where I'd stand on their nose. Remember, because there's one. There's one in show hall. I think it's animal abuse for sure, personally. Where they like you stand on their nose and they push you. But I know dolphins are like very friendly, right? They're like very human friendly and all that shit. So maybe they're like they're like dogs almost. But the one I want to do with the dolphins is the one where you put on a helmet and you like sink to the. Oh yeah, that yeah. big helmet thing. Yeah, you're walking down and then there's stingrays and shit. Uh, well, it's mostly do dolphins. So it's a dolphin one too. Oh. Yeah, you're under. You're down there with the dolphins and shit. So that's the one I want to do because that one to me wouldn't be abuse because I'm just down there and the dolphins are something. Dolphins yeah. like come up to you and stuff. Yeah, and then I could touch it. I've always wanted to touch me a dolphin. Too. I've always dude. wanted to touch a dolphin. <laughs> yeah. Dolphins are like humans, dude. Yeah. Like, I have this weird vibe with dolphins because they look at you and I can tell like they're thinking about something. Like more, you know how a dog looks at you and he's like, <laughs> 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 but like a dolphin, like it's different. Like apparently, like they have like consciousness and they understand who you are, yep. who they are. You know, it's crazy. No, yeah, 100%. But yeah, I do want to do the dolphin one. But, I mean, my experience was the snuba. I did the snuba. I did it by myself. That show was cool. I think you guys should do it. I think we should have a boy shift. We should definitely go there. I'll do it. Uh -huh. And we all got to do snuba. You guys will not regret it. It's a dope experience. It's like a different planet. It's, it's a yeah. dope experience. I'm not scared of I've never snuba. been that deep, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of the, what is it, the water slide. 
No. Oh no! Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't care if all of you do it again, or you're all like all out. If all of you are like, I'm down. I'm like, nope. I already did it once. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> like, no, that's not. Few times in my life where I thought I was gonna die. The other thing too is like they tell you to lay flat on the, like lay flat, and because of that, all the water goes in your eyes and you can't see, so you end up just having to close your eyes. Oh, so you just, fun. so you just leave it to the gods. Oh, and you're, you're just, like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like for a minute, because for a minute my eyes are closed and I'm just moving. A minute is a long time too. It's when scary. You think you're gonna die. Yeah, it's yeah. scary, dude. And you just, you just feel your body going, <sighs> room, room, left and right, and you know there's no net. Oh yeah, yeah. Not. and you're like, oh, wait, it's not God. covered on the top. Either. No, it's not, dude. It's and so like, for a minute, you're just there with your eyes closed and your body's going left and right, and you're like, you're just hoping you don't sway out, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> sway out of it, and fucking just fly out and just die from the fucking <laughs> impact. And you're like, oh my god, dude. But when I saw people afterwards, I saw that they were actually sitting up a little bit. They weren't like mm. completely laying down. You shouldn't lay down in the water slides. Sit up a little bit because the water gets in your eyes and you can't see what's going on. Front. And I think that's what helps. If you can see what's going on, it's yeah. when you can't see what's going on that's scary. You don't it's know like, when that's going to end. Yeah. No, it's scary. It's not just that. You can react. You're like, oh, shit. All of a sudden, you're outside. You're like, oh. no. And you can't like try to grab onto the like the... Yeah. You know, where like if your eyes are open, you like you realize you're about to go out. You can at least try to grab onto That's some shit. That's what I mean. So it's uh, yeah, no, that shit was fucking scary, dude. Yeah. Oh, we gotta go back to Cancun. We do. We gotta go there specifically. I love Shaoha. Shaoha is awesome. All you can it eat, all cool. you can drink. Yeah. Cool ass activities. I love the Ninja Warrior activities. Those mm. are dope. I, we didn't even Those get to do all so of them. Cool. Yeah, we didn't even get, we didn't get to do the jump off the dock. We didn't even, go back. We we didn't didn't even get to really cliff. fucking bike because the girls couldn't really bike. <laughs> oh, that's right. Christine couldn't bike either. <laughs> no, and the biking path was actually pretty cool, but they couldn't really bike. Christine did yeah. pretty decent actually, because me and Christine biked. Remember? Yeah, I thought she, she did biked. decent. No, she did. She did decent, but yeah. she still had to stop sometimes because she couldn't like control it. It's like driving, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like panic. They end up oh. panicking. <laughs> You know, like, well, don't Wade doesn't know how to ride a bike. Yeah. So she was like, I can do it. And I'm like, but you don't know how to ride a bike. Christine doesn't either. Oh, really? That was, she she, she kind of did when she was a kid, she said. Uh -huh. So I was, she was learning like, that day. Like riding a bike. Yeah, she was learning well, that that's day. That's what they say. I mean, yeah. it's like riding a bike. Yeah. She was learning that day. So I'm glad she's able to, like, just, like, push herself through it to try to learn. Which I appreciate. Like, she, yeah, she's able to push herself through it. Because she really doesn't know how to ride a bike. It's weird. I think it's something every person should know. Yeah, yeah. Especially an Asian person. Yeah. I know. It's weird. Because that's what they use for transportation. But yeah, believe me, believe it or not, panic is one of the worst things as a human we can have. When you panic about your situation, that's when you make the worst decisions possible on what to do. At least from my experience, panic is bad. And it's why I try to like... When I panic or when I'm like thinking, having negative thoughts in my head, I try to breathe, relax, take it in, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, going back to California, honey, because we've been so off topic right now. That's a deep we were dive. doing great. We, yeah, we were doing great time. And then <laughs> and then we went to the whole like, and then all of a sudden, like, we're fucking bad. I think we would have had under an hour and a half if we like continue. Wow. Yeah. And they're but, tall beers. Too. Yeah. 16 ounces. Yeah. Each. We're at 3.33 now, though. So an hour and 33 minutes. So okay. we'll pick this up. Um, I like the Pete California honey so far. The smell. Yeah. Are you able to smell this? I can't. Maybe it's because my, my sign is so deep. I can smell a little bit. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells like a pilsner. It's kind of subtle, isn't it? It is subtle, yeah. Yeah. Would you say it's good? Because I honestly can't tell. I, I think I, I'm giving I like it. it. All right. It's, I'm, it's weedy. I'm giving it a score that I think is is right for me because I can't really smell it, but I think it's because I have a stein, so it's really hard. For me. It's like a sulfur smell. Yeah. Mm. The mm. taste, I'm a fan of. It's very simple. It's a very simple blonde. Yeah. It's not the greatest blonde, but it's a very simple blonde, and I like that it's a simple blonde, and I like that. The feel. 
Very, 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 very standard blonde feel. I like it. I like the blonde feel for sure. A hundred percent. Um, yeah, no, I like the blonde feel for sure. There was something I wanted to add, by the way, but I'm not going to add it. When I was talking about panic. Well, I'll add it in the next pair because I want to like move on, but I'll remember. And I need you to remind me just in case. Okay. But it's about the panic thing. Panic thing. Just remember that. Just be like, it's okay. about your panic. All right. And, uh, and you can remind me later. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ready for checkability. You? Yeah. Let me do a double check if, in case I want to change any of my scores. Mm hmm. I changed one of my scores. Actually, you know what? I like to feel a little bit more. That seems right. Okay. I changed my small score. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandpas and grandmas, mothers and fathers, welcome to the Beer Buds Chuggability Challenge. Once again, if you can chug better than the Beer Buds, you'll be rewarded with 100 Beer Buds bucks. Nice. Then you will be included into the Beer Buds uh, final competition challenge of the Chug Challenge. Where you will be eligible to win 1,000 Beer Buds bucks, which are redeemable redeemable only through the Beer Buds, where we will give you a hug, send you a personal video. A hug or a tug. Or, or, <laughs> or send you a sex tape of the Beer Buds. Nice. <laughs> nice. Anyways, let's chug it up. This is the Beer Buds chug. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the song. The fuck? We we have an intruder. Give me a second. What the fuck do they want? We got an intruder during the podcast. I was gonna say like what? <laughs> All right, you can lock the door. We're gonna do the beer buds chug. This is the beer buds. Go ahead and get your drink, boys and girls. Boom. Boom. That? Yeah, I killed it. I Beer Buzz Daniel has been fucking pussying today. I have been a pussy today. I think it's time we fucking murder Beer Buzz no. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a little, I don't know, carbonated. Yeah, it was pretty carbonated. If you ignore the carbonation, it's easy, but the carbonation makes me put the score a little bit lower. Oh, shit. So the way I chugged it, I chugged it and then I stopped halfway and I let the carbonation go down and then I chugged the remaining half. That's what I did. Okay. Yeah. So you let the carbonation <laughs> sink. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. It does make sense. Like yeah. the carbonation go through its process. So like I chugged it and I stopped a little like this oh, Okay. and then it continued. Yeah. Dude, so, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm so full. Yeah, the the I think it's from the IPAs. And then I think the honey. Oh, look at this. No, <laughs> I think the honey in this beer is oh. actually an added. I've noticed this with honey beers. They feel more filling, for sure. So we have three IPAs, two IPAs. And, and a beer a, that's a filling beer. And a filling beer <laughs> and a double IPA. Yeah. The good thing is, after this podcast, next week, we're going to go into Oktoberfest, and we're just going to be doing <laughs> Oktoberfest beers, which ten are not they're that really filling. Good. Yeah, I'm and excited. they're not filling beers, in my opinion. You know what we should do, man? We should do... The German Mars and Winter Brewing, get one yeah. from somewhere else, get this, get Carl Strauss. But there, we got to so many travels. Stein. Yes. Well, you need a Stein. I have I'll a get Stein. A Stein. <laughs> I'll get a Stein. <laughs> That'll be st- cool. You could probably just buy one at the Seto yeah, Auto Shop. Yeah, yeah, actually. And then, or we could do like, say we we have an episode where we just do boot that boot that boot. Oh that's yeah, boot. that's that'd be sick. Or it could be an or a Rusty Monk. Out. Yeah, <gasps> live stream. Dude, that's do you boot. think Rusty Monk's gonna do it again? Yeah, no, they do it every year. So we're gonna be able to refill for ten bucks the whole <gasps> <Yes>. fucking boot. <laughs> we should buy. Find your boot, dude. I have my boot. It's inside. All right. Yeah. I have mine too. All right. With that said, let's get with the scores. Right. I gave the California Honey a taste score of seven. 
A field score is 7.5. A smell of 7 and a chug ability is 6.5. Beer with Daniel. Taste score of 7. Feel score of 7 and a smell of 8 and a chug score of 6. Nice. Yeah. Well, we got the same average rating again. <laughs> no way. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. What do you believe Beer Advocate gave this? Uh, oh, I'll go first this time because right. you went first last time. I'm going to say, I feel like they're not a fan of blonde nails and honeys. Yeah, I heard them say the same thing. I believe Beer Advocate gave the California honey from Pizza Port an 85. Nice. What do you believe? Hmm. That's a good one. 85 was good. I'm going to do. <laughs> either higher or lower yeah. <laughs> i know 80 80 okay yeah i'm think you're thinking the same as me huh it's either gonna be higher mm. or it's gonna be lower that's how i feel that they're gonna do so let's see what beer advocate gave um the california honey right that's what it's called yeah california la all right California honey. Ooh, it did get lower score for the previous one, so you might be right. 82. Ooh. What is that? So I won. You won. Nice. Because I got 85. Midpoint. I won one point. Like you did last time. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but we're close. We're hitting these kind of like. We understand him now. Yeah, we're understanding Beer Advocate's shitty scoring system. <laughs> <laughs> Because we got to think as elitists, you know, like elitists would be like, oh, it's brewed with honey. You know, yeah. like that's how uh, I feel. Uh, yeah. It's unpure. Yeah. Ugh. And so. Sweetness. I instantly went down to the 80s because of that. Because like, yeah, it just makes sense that it'd be in the 80s. They're like, where's our bitterness? Yeah. The honey kills the bitter. Yeah. Fucking. No, yeah, we did good. But at, in, in terms of the beer bud score. That's way higher than Beer Buds score. That's nowhere near what the Beer Buds gave it. We gave it like a 70 something? Close. Well, I, I I can't reveal it yet, but you're very, very close. Almost on point. So I can't reveal it yet. So we're moving on to the next beer. And I think Beer Buds Daniel is actually going to continue drinking the California Honey. Or are you going to pour that one out too? Uh, it's not that bad. I actually I like it. it. Yeah. yeah. So beer with Zen is gonna keep drinking it. So our last beer of the day. It's a go. tough one. It's a double India Pale L from Pizza Port Brewing. You know, what, hold on, I'm gonna go take a pee pee. Yeah, go for I it. Go for it. One. It's called the Kook, and it's a double IPA. This is every surfer's dream. Every surfer remembers catching their first wave. The Kook. Double IPA is in honor of everyone that goes for it in life. And has a great try, time trying. Here's to the person that has the courage to get out there in the lineup, bro. And embraces their inner cook, buddy. That's what the cook double IPA is. It's for the surfers, dude. The double IPA. Get mad ways, bro. Mad ways here in Southern California, bro. I don't wear masks, bro. So that's what it is. So I'm actually curious because I do remember Cook being such an offensive language. Cook, a crazy or eccentric person. There you go. That's what it is. So what, what does Cook mean in slang? Here we go. So I really want to look up what Cook means in slang because... An eccentric, stranger, foolish person. I guess it wasn't really racist. I thought it was. Um, yeah, no. I guess it's not a fucking offensive language. Cook, racist term. Let me look it up real quick for you guys. Just because I like learning new things and it's about knowledge. List of ethnic slurs. So I thought it was an ethnic slur, slur personally, but I might be wrong here. Um... So let's go to the case for ethnic slurs and let's see if we can find cook. <laughs> oh, cook. Cook. Oh, cook. No, it's not on here. I don't know why I thought. I thought it was, but I don't know why. But what cook means, it's a 
Just so you know what it actually means in terms of definition, a crazy or eccentric person. Oh, a kook. Yeah, a kook. Um, but yeah. Yeah, when, when I think it's like, uh, where have I heard it? I think I've heard it like in a British band. They made a song called Cuckoo. Yeah. yeah. Like they also have the cooks. Cooks? Oh, like the, the, band. the band, the kooks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. There's also another term very dear to the beer bud's heart. It's called cuck. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> um, There's nothing wrong with being a cuck. Going back to the panic thing while we pour out this beer, because I want to say. So when I was in the fire department, there was this one exam that we had. If you failed, you left. But basically, you had all your fire equipment gear on. And you were, it was like 10 p.m. at night. Um, they lock you into a dark room. With all the other firefighters, by the way, they're all there. Or the trainees, not the firefighters, the trainees. Uh, and the, all you have is a hose. You have to try to figure yourself your way out of the room. And so the ho- the way, like, if firefighters figure their way out of a fire, because if you don't know, believe it or not, fires are dark. You can't really see anything because of the smoke. So you like, you're, like, going in blind. So you follow your hose. So I had to follow my hose. And there's people always crashing into me and whatnot. Yeah. So it's the same like with water where like it's dark and you're like suffocated and you're like, you have to like relax because if you panic, because yeah. there was people panicking when Even we were at in the there. Because they were, yeah, at the fire camp. In that little situation, because it's completely dark. Yeah. You can't see shit. You have your breathing breather. mat, your yeah. breather on. Um, can't see shit. It's completely dark. And we were legit in there for like 30 minutes, most of us, 30 minutes to an hour. To try to get out. To try to get out of the building. So some people panicked. They stood up and they walk and they got walked out and shit because they panic. Cause, and I'm like, relax, you know, like it's dark. I haven't seen shit for like 30 minutes. All I could hear is voices. All that's all you hear is voices, Whoa. people walking over you or people walking across. It yeah. was so dysfunctional. Yeah. And I think as, uh, the people who walked over yeah. panic too, in my opinion, it's very simple. I thought it was a very simple exercise when I was doing it because I was telling people, like, look, relax, go go forward. Because the hoses cross each other. So sometimes people are like, oh, that's why like going right over there. you or yeah. like they're like they don't want to wait. So they walk over you and shit and like you fuck shit up kind of thing. But yeah. But panic is a crazy thing of humans. They're, patience is such a virtue and you got to you got to learn how to relax. You got to learn like take a breath relax think about your situation kind of thing you know and then i think everybody like that that example of an exercise like it affects people differently because like maybe you're not afraid of like the dark oh i am <laughs> oh you are oh this way is and like whenever like we're in a dark place or something she freaks out and panics immediately and i'm like what's wrong and she's like oh it's too dark and i'm like oh but no you know? i i'm afraid of dark i just think just like those up, maybe there's some guys in there that fucked it up because they were scared of. No, yeah, for dark. sure, yeah, yeah. You know? And so they want to get out as soon as possible, um, or maybe they think like they need to get out as quickly as possible to pass the exam or whatever. But like for example, as a weight thing, right? She says she's afraid of dark. I think when you're afraid, this is coming from me because I've exp- I I know you realize like when you're afraid of something, you gotta confront it, and you got you can't you can't panic. You panic, your heart rate goes up, everything starts losing control. You just don't start thinking. A lot of shit happens, right? Yeah. And that's all I just want to throw out. Like you gotta, you gotta practice breathing. You really, really do. Breathing is breathing makes everything so much better. Yeah, it does. I know firsthand too because I'm terrified of flying. Yeah. So whenever the plane takes off, I'm doing breathing exercises. Mm. That's like just box breathing for like ten minutes. If or I could just get drunk and then go on. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've like, seen that. Or you do both, though. Do I've both, seen you do yeah. both. You've seen me breathe too. Yeah, I've seen really? you breathe. I've seen you breathe. Okay, yeah, because I was like, "Fuck." I've heard it. Not seen it. I've heard it. Okay, yeah, but like, yeah, breathing does like help me through it all, you know. And like, just like I'm afraid of flying. Like maybe there's some people that are like, like you, or you said you're afraid of like drowning or, or like the dark. Yeah, you know. Um. And that's when panic ensues because yeah. that's like maybe there's some trauma attached to that. Yeah, I think it's hard. I'm not going to say it's not hard. It is hard for people to do it. But I think 
Just because it's hard, you shouldn't confront those situations. You shouldn't not confront those situations. You need to confront those situations. And I think, in my opinion, I think I pride myself in that, in that I'm able to confront the fact of mistakes I've made or confront my panic situations and be like, I need to calm down. Because there's been times where, like, I didn't calm down or I haven't relaxed or whatever. I'm like, I need to calm down. I need to relax, relax, relax. I put that in my head. Relax, relax. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Yeah. And eventually you're able to break away from that mindset where you're like scared and you can act, you know? Yeah. Cause if you let that shit control you and you don't try and you're like, Oh, I'm just afraid of it. Yeah. You're afraid of it, but there's time. Some, there, there is going to be a time when you're afraid of something you gotta do and, it. and you have, and, and you have no choice, but to like confront that shit that you're afraid of. And you, and if you don't know how to confront it, and you're just fucked because I can 100% I can tell you if, you if you have no way of knowing how you can confront that fear, you're going to be fucked, dude, in that situation. You're just going to panic. You're going to make the worst decision possible and you're going to like die or who knows what else could happen. Right. Yeah. And that's what I what I've told because like Christine, as an example, my wife, like I told you driving, she panics and it makes no sense her decisions that she makes. She thinks she's going to crash. She panics. She keeps driving, accelerating, brake. I tell her, brake. Mm -hmm. I'm not panicking. I'd say slowly. I don't yell, brake, brake. She doesn't do it. And then I have to yell, brake. Yeah. And then she finally does it. And I had to yell. And I'm like, you got to breathe. You got to relax. Don't fucking panic. Yeah. I've been in close situations. Where I almost got in the car accidents. And I think when it comes to car accidents, I'm pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'm able to avoid them for the Swear most part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I avoid the cars because, I mean, there was this one big accident. I was going like 70 miles per hour. And the cars all of a sudden stopped. And I, I looked down for a second to get my it burger. scary. Yeah, because we were on the 60. And then, like, that shit, that, my heart raised. But I knew what was going on. And I'm like, instantly, I moved to the left lane. Because if I didn't move to yeah, the left lane. And you don't even think. About yeah. it, you yeah, yeah, it's insane because yeah. I've, I've I've avoided a lot of those, because and it's crazy. Fucking. It's like you don't you're not even. I feel like my body reacts before my mind does. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It is insane because I'm like, instantly I know, instantly I knew like that's adrenaline. I knew I'm not gonna be able to break in time. Yeah, because this was the when we had the Lincoln Navigator. You guys saw the damage, remember? Yeah. It wasn't even that bad to be honest. I thought it was gonna be worse, but. I knew I was gonna be able to break in time because I started breaking. I heard a eh, boom instantly. I'm like, all right, it's not gonna break in time. Boom, I moved to the left lane. Thankfully, there was no car next to me. I guess yeah. my mind already realized there was no car because I always check. Yeah. But at that time, I didn't check. I just moved to the left lane. You know what it is? I think it's hours of driving. It yeah, probably be, it is. Experience. It has to be experience driving and experience behind that machine. Yeah. Controlling the machine, you already you're kind of connected to it yeah. somehow. And I think other people driving too, because they know they heard the braking, they heard yeah. the screeching, they all stop. You know what's weird when you're driving, bro? It's like everybody's connected. Yeah, and kind everybody, of. you know, you feel the guy next to you driving. Because I know when someone's gonna try to come into my lane already. Like I even tell away, I was like, "This guy's gonna come in. He wants to come in." <laughs> I could tell by the way he's yeah. kind of like leaning, or, or I don't know, just, just it's, it's weird. Yeah. It, it's because everyone's on high high it's like a career it's experience we drive yeah, a lot yeah, so we have true. a lot of experience and if you don't panic about it you can uh, approach the situation pretty well i think it is experience like you said it's, yeah, it's like think about like you know how like they talk about basketball players are like sometimes they're in the zone it's the same yeah, like i think it's, it's similar yeah it's a yeah. similar situation um but yeah like i braked it screeched i ended up moving to the other lane and I still, there was still, as soon as I moved to the lane, I'm like, I'm still not braking enough that I'm going to hit the other car. The brakes were shitty. And it's a big ass car, the Lincoln Navigator, 2001, I think it was. Heavy. And I'm like, all right, nope, it's not going to happen. I'm going to hit a car if somehow I don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> like, and this is like, it was in the matter of like four to five seconds this happened, by the way. I ended up swerving again. And then I ended up deciding to make a left. Into the divide. So I oh, crashed into the divide. The divide? Like the concrete one? The concrete divide. Oh, shit. That was my decision. Because if I did it, I was going to hit someone. 
<laughs> and, someone else. Yeah. And that was like, a, I'm serious. It was in a matter of five fucking seconds, dude. I'm not even joking about it. I wish there was a GoPro or something so I could see it. Yeah. So I crashed into the vibe, but because I crashed into the vibe, the car kind of swerves a little bit like the backside and hits the guy's car. Oh, fuck. But just the backside. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of damage. It was like a little bump. That was yeah. it. You see my car, though, the front of my Lincoln Navigator, it has a dent on the right corner. I, I think you remember. Yeah. It wasn't that bad either because I managed it. But damn, that shit. After everything was done, yeah. that's when everything's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I almost died. <laughs> like, no, I almost died. But I almost like it fucked someone else. Yeah, I almost fucked someone else. Yeah. And yeah, this dude. is because I was getting my Chick-fil-A sandwich from my bag. <laughs> Cause it was on the other in the passenger seat. I go get it. Cause everyone's going like 60, 70 Wait. miles per hour. And all of a sudden everything stops. Yeah. And the brakes in my car, it's a heavier car. Yeah. The brakes in that car were worse. And yeah. I'm like, fuck boom. And then like, it's screeching. I'm like, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to hit the car right in front of me. I keep trying to avoid cars left and right. And then, yeah. Dude, where the hell did you get Chick-fil-A at the box of Uh, I was by Ontario, I think. Oh God. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, yeah, I was further way out. further out. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, back to the, where are we on? Oh yeah, I need, I claim red beer. Huh. We're on the double IPA. The yeah, but Ooh. that's why, that's why I tell you guys, we're almost at, we're at, let's see what the time is. Cause we got a 3.55. So we're going to finish this one real quick. We did so bad. Real quick? So real quick. Um, So we're on the kook. Uh, the kook. This isn't one to do real quick. <laughs> <laughs> the kook double IP. Hey, but one thing I just want to leave out for the beer buds and all beer buds listeners is that when you're panicking, somehow in there, try to take a quick one second breather and then breathe out. It's hard. It's hard to think about, but it's it's necessary. If you're afraid of something, you gotta. It's weird. I'm one of those persons like that likes to be prepared. And I've said this. It's it's why when I move to Texas, I'm going to buy guns. It's why I don't want to be here in California because of the earthquake. I don't think there's a way I could prepare for that, especially any home I buy. Unless it's a new construction with good ass fucking building. I don't, like this house isn't going to hold up, in my opinion. Like this house right yeah, now. Yeah, it will. You think so? I think so. Yeah. It has it's no all, anchor it's post, plywood. Though. The plywood's going to be okay. But the thing is, like, it doesn't matter if you survive. Because if you survive, the big one, uh, it's the aftermath. So we're not going to have running water. Yeah. The pipes are going to break, yeah. most likely. I took an Earthwicks class at school. So he's like, the big one's horrible. But what's going to suck is living here afterwards. Okay. And then it got me thinking, Come like, on, yeah. like, a, like Hurricane Harvey in like Houston kind of thing. Yeah. So basically, we're not, people are going to go crazy because you can't just go to the grocery store anymore. You have no water. What are we going to do without water? You have no clean water. We have no sewer system left, electricity. The grid's gone. It's going to be horrible. Yeah, I'm in agreement with you. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I like to be prepared. It's weird to say, but I like to be prepared. For the worst scenario, worst case scenarios, where, like, you don't want to be the person that gets caught with their pants down. You know what I mean? That's the best way to explain it. Where, like, at least if you're prepared, maybe you have something in your pants. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. I attest that to anything. So that's why I think... There's necessary survival skills, swimming. There's one thing I still need to learn is how to properly tread water. Oh, okay. I don't know how to properly tread water because I think the way should, I, I think tread I water. I how to hunt too. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think that's probably going to be a good skill yeah. to have. Because when it comes to treading water, I can tread water. I don't. I think I use too much energy in like treading you do water. The doggy? Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. The doggy, because I can't, apparently the proper way to tread water is like your one leg goes the other way, the oh, other leg goes the opposite yeah, you way. Yeah, told me that. Yeah. yeah. Like, like that. It's hard to do, dude. Yeah. I couldn't do and it. And I'm like, and I tried it one time in the pool and I'm like, how the fuck does that keep me up? It doesn't. And uh, I, I don't, I don't understand it. I was probably doing something wrong, but 
It's actually like that. Bicycle, I think, is a thing. Even manual stick shift. Stick shift is something I should definitely learn. I know the basics. Yeah. In terms of like what you told me about when you tried to teach me on your old car. But I don't really know how to drive stick shift, really. I know I had to shift and then put in the clutch and all the shit, right? But it'd be pretty horrible if I tried to drive stick shift. You know what I mean? Mm. But that's what I mean. Basic skills that... I mean, you don't know what could happen. I, I think I'm just a paranoid motherfucker, kind of. But no, I'm not extreme it's, paranoid. It's good to be prepared, man. Yeah. Especially nowadays. Like, if you were to tell me this last year, I'd be like, you're stupid, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 like, like now, I see 2020. It's like, oh, my God. Like, I need to get guns. <laughs> you know? I need to... I'm going to try to... I need to learn, like, some combat skills. Yep. That's important. Yep. You know, I got to learn how to use Great. guns. I got to learn how to hunt. I got to do because we saw when co- Corona started, like the, the the pandemic and the lockdowns, like how people went crazy. Like I got to learn how to garden, how to try to like make my own food. Yeah. Like try to clean my own water. Yeah. Like all these like necessary skills, skills to survive. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think for me, too, is like. You don't know when you're going to come into a situation where you have to try to defend yourself or defend a person next to you and whatnot. Um, Civilization's fragile. Dude. Yeah, no, it is. It really is. And then even this whole, uh, not even just because Corona, but um, I feel there will come a time, maybe not in my lifetime, but if it does come in my lifetime, I'd rather be prepared than be unprepared and not know how to deal with it. <laughs> Yeah. And it sounds stupid, but it's the truth. Like, I, I'm sorry, but if you don't own a gun, that's just, I, I don't believe in guns, but they exist. Realize that. I think some people say like, well, if you buy a gun, you're adding on to the problem. Okay, sure. I am, but I'm not going to risk people I care about lives. If someone comes try to invade my home and I have no gun and they have a gun, like what the fuck? Dude, I don't think anybody is probably opposed to that anymore. No. Right. Maybe we saw but, that. I mean, who, I don't understand what type of person would like people who don't believe in guns. And think you think it's bad. still like to this still day, hundred percent. My sister doesn't fucking, agree with it. I understand really? she doesn't. Yeah. I but get she it. saw like what the chaos and anarchy that happened in Los Angeles, like where, like in Santa businesses Monica. Businesses were getting burned. That's so, so fucked up, dude. Like small business businesses too, local business business. Not even just that. Like we we understand they don't have protection, but what about people in like Beverly Hills that got fucked, or in Santa Monica, all these super rich people who thought that their local police could handle the riots. Yeah. Exactly. And they didn't they don't have guns. Not just that, the government. <laughs> yeah. The Believe government, it or not, the government was the one. There's who a let reason for the bare arms. You don't know when your government's gonna turn on you. I like to believe that the soldiers have their mind of their own, but army people after seeing uh, Middle Ground, have you seen Jubilee? I think I've told you you should check it out before. Mm-hmm. But Jubilee. It's like, do all Marines think the same? Do all like oh. military think the same? Or do all black people think the same? Uh, after seeing some of the in the in the military episode, mm-hmm. the Marines were smart. Uh-huh. They did not believe in their government. They did shit, and they said they, we did it, but I did not believe in what we did. Yeah, and they're like, I don't like our government kind of thing. But yeah. then you have the army. <laughs> yeah, the army guys are like, yeah, government. You know, like yeah, like America kind of thing. And then after he was in the Jubilee episodes, are like, whoa. To him, he's like, he, he was super surprised that like the Marines, the United States Air Force, Navy SEALs, yeah. all thought way differently than what he thought. Because for him, he's all like, protect America, like, you know, do what I need to do. Yeah. But never question like my order kind of thing, right? Uh, <laughs> kind yeah. of like, like not like Germany, like not yeah. yeah. But Marines, Navy SEALs, USA Air Force, like mm-hmm. those people and those that part of the military. They're like, no, I didn't agree with some of the shit we did. Um, our government's like messed up. Like 
you you should hear you need to see that episode because it's so so eye opening that the our army, which is the biggest military industrial. No, uh, our biggest like population in terms of the military, because most oh, people yeah, get drafted sure. like when you get in, go into the army, you go into the military, like army. Yeah, you don't go to Navy SEALs because no. that's more advanced. You go don't go to Marines because that's more advanced. You don't go to the USA Air Force or Special Forces because that's more advanced. It's more training. You actually have to know shit. Like you have to have math knowledge, science, chemistry, etc. Yeah, those are smart people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And physically fit people and like mm-hmm. people could develop their own fucking decisions. Yeah. So that's why. But the army is the highest population. And those people will follow it's like Nazi Germany. They'll follow rules. You know, like so like that's why I think guns are good for people to hold. It sounds bad. Guns are bad, I agree, but until guns are actually completely done with you got to have them, even in your own household. You might not like it. I don't like it, but you got to have it, dude. I'm sorry. Look, like, yeah, I've heard a lot of people like talk shit about guns. And I used to think they were obsolete and antiquated. But then if you look at like, like just like response rates on police, especially now that like who knows what's going to happen to the police here. And uh, like it takes them like at least 15 minutes to get here. So what, what happens when somebody comes into your house and like wants to steal your shit and you're Fucking in the way? Fucking rape your family? Yeah. I mean, that's I didn't want to get, the, I didn't want to get to that no, point, but like, yeah, there's, that's the extremes I go to. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just want to throw this out there. That's the extremes I go to. And that's the reason why I want to be prepared. Cause I go to the extremes. It's a weird way of thinking, but I go to the extremes and that's why I'm like, no. No chance in hell. You invade my this home, and I'm here. I'm going to get out my shotgun, first thing. I'll give you a warning. You don't follow it, and you still pop up. I'm going to shoot you. Straight up. I'm not giving a chance for, like, I've heard rape stories, dude. I've seen, like. Dude, there's this. Oh, fuck. There's this documentary, It's fucking bro. dark. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. it's dark. Go, I know. Continue. Go ahead. No, it's okay. We're going to the dark side. But like, yeah, that's that's what I think about, man. But I don't like to talk about it. But I think about it a lot, especially when I'm running or I'm training, you know, I'm, I'm lifting. I think about that shit all the time. And I think it, it's, it, it goes hand in hand when you have loved ones around you. you know? Yeah, 100%. Because you're supposed to protect them. It's not that you're supposed to, but you don't want anything bad to happen to them, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that's that's that's. That's bad. Look, That's- I don't want to hurt a fellow human being. But, dude, like, you're coming into this home uninvited. Like, it's weird. I'm so, like, sometimes there's been cases where, like, this, this person just comes to the home and it's just, like, a homeless dude. And he's, like, just want, goes into your fridge and steals food. I've read stories like that. Mm-hmm. And then he gets shot. That's unfortunate. Trust me. I would feel real bad. Who has shot a guy like that and then he dies? Or a woman. Yeah. But how am I supposed to know what the fuck you're doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. Dude, there's this horrible fucking murderer. Yeah. Uh, I think it's in the 80s. And he would, like, he would invade people's homes and, like, tie up the husband and put a bunch of plates on his back. And then rape the wife. And he told the husband, like, you're going to hear me rape your wife. And if you move or, like, the plates, because he put the plates. Like, if I hear the mo- the plates move, then I'll just shoot her first and then I'll shoot you. Yeah. And this motherfucker was a cop, right? I'm saying, like, all cops are fucking bad or whatever, right? No, that's no. Not, that's not, I'm just saying that's he's a cop. True. So they never caught his ass until, like, two years ago or three years ago. And this yeah. happened like 20 years ago, bro. 30 years ago. When Our system's old. fucked up. It's because this motherfucker, like, that's why there's like a lot of horrible people that want power. And they're shitty people, so they they become priests, they become police officers, they become uh, in a position where they have more power over the, the normal population. Yeah. And, yeah. and then we all assume like, oh, all priests are bad or all cops are bad or whatever. But it's just these little fucking assholes that yeah. infiltrate you know what's funny 
Believe it or not, I think most good people would want to be be in those positions. Mm. That's the thing. Because good you're people, you're right, dude. You're 100 percent right. Because good people, who wants to be fucking president? Good people don't want to be nobody. in power of other people. They don't yeah. want to only a psychopath. Control. Like. Yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the thing. Good people, for the most part, don't want to control the people. That's a good point, man. It's yeah. like, think of it like this. You know how I hate social media? I'm not saying I'm a good person, but you know how I hate social media? It's like that. I don't want to do it. I do it because it's like a necessary evil. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of thing like, like it, I, that's how I see good people. People, Good people don't want to be president. Good people don't want to be a an actual cop. Good people don't want to be a leader of anything because then... They feel like they're controlling something. They're like being evil by controlling some form of government or some form of economy, some form of organization, etc. Yeah. Because then they feel like they could get corrupted or they could do bad or, you know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. But that's that's 100% true, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think so. Because like, look at look at who we have. For presidents, all these crazy ass people, man. I don't think we've ever had a good president besides Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I don't know. No, we I had, um, I actually don't know. Yeah. Politics are hard for sure. You don't know what goes behind the scenes. Well, look at the even. I think like, there's a lot of blackmailing when it comes to politics, too. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, <laughs> if, have you ever seen House of Cards on Netflix? No. That's like a good show. It used to be a good show, but you know what fucked it up? Was that Kevin like, Spacey abusing little boys? <laughs> it was even before that. Oh, yeah. But like, yeah, <laughs> but that was a big one. But it was that our own po- real world politics became crazier than the writing. Uh, shit. <laughs> that show, dude. So it was like, why would we watch this made up shit when I can watch Trump being president now? True. Yeah, no. So, dude, it's fucking crazy. Hundred percent. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways. That's a Kevin good uh, yeah. <laughs> That that was that was a segue. Hey, that little kid wanted it too, dude. To <laughs> this big. <laughs> it wasn't even a little kid. Like like Michael Jackson and shit. No, dude. Whatever you guys do, don't watch that Michael Jackson documentary. Yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't. All right. So I've poured out all of the Kook double IPA into my beer. My Stein Cup, what about you? Oh, yeah. we didn't read out the Kook. No, I did read it Yeah, out. Yeah. Um, I didn't read out the ABV, though. The ABV is an 8.5%. The ABV for the Kook IPA is an 8.5%. And again, it is a double IPA. You got to love those double IPAs, people. Because they fucking make you great. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, I haven't even put a taste score for this. I haven't either. I know, man. It's it's it, it, in my opinion, it's a little difficult to decide what a taste score is. If I'm being honest, dude, I don't know, man. Like I was expecting a little more from the double IPA, but I, maybe I'm a bitch. I wasn't expecting more. No. Nope. If I'm being honest, I was not expecting shit at all. What? Because of the previous IPAs? Uh, because double IPAs, I think. No, I think for this one, specifically for Pizza Port, I wasn't expecting much nope. from all their other beers. I didn't think it was going to be that great. However, I still haven't decided taste score until now, and I think I'm pretty confident on this taste score. Boom. So, yeah. Nice. Mm. The feels not bad, though. It feels no. pretty decent. The smell, I can't remember the smell. It smells pretty alcoholic. It smells like alcohol, right? Or am I wrong in that? What does it smell like to you? Honestly, I can't smell anything. Okay. Because I smell alcohol. Let me see. I can smell hops. But not oh, a lot. yeah. From the can, you smell hops. That's actually a pretty good smell. From the can, it smells good. When I poured it into my stein, it, act, it smells like straight up alcohol. So all I got it left is the chuggability. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, baby. You ready? Ready. All right. Let's get the chuggability ready and going. Make sure to check us out on social media. This is the last chuggability of the day from the beer butts.
Let's get it popping, everybody. Oh, wrong shit. <laughs> I thought I skipped to the other one, but you know what? It's cool now. Like, look at that. Do 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 do. Let's do a clank. Hell yeah. You mean want a clan? Want to do a clan? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's too hard. It's too fucking hard. I can't. This is too much also. Holy Ooh. shit. I drank a lot too, in my opinion. Because <laughs> I, had, I had such a small amount left. Holy shit. Oh, God. You can taste the alcohol, dude. Yeah. It's pretty boozy. Oh, man. That is fucking boozy, dude. Woo. I don't know. I think this is a bad check ability. Oh, maybe it's lower. I should have kept it in my cup and tried it again. <sighs> yeah, no, I think I'm going to stick with this. Oh. God. What did you think of check ability? Uh, I didn't like it, man. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You me. have a lot in your cup. <laughs> What, what do you think Bear Advocate gave it? I'm going to say uh, a 90. I'm going to do a 92. All right. This time, because it's the last beer, I kind of want to do the Beer Advocate score first. All right, let's do it. What is it called again? It's called the Kook. Kook, right? Double idea. I found it. Kook. <sighs> Damn, dude. That shit was hard, bro. It's almost like like hot wings. <laughs> I'm like spiced up. I'm like super fucking spiced up. That was not easy, man. I can't tell you how much that was like a difficult chug. That was a super difficult chug. I'm trying to load up the page. It says I have no internet connection. I don't know why. Um, let me go back to the kook. Hold up. Refresh the page. Okay, it's not showing up. Let's go back again. The kook. Kook. Okay, here we go. You got it? Uh, maybe if it loads up. Nope, it doesn't nope. load up. It's not loading up. I don't know why, but that page specifically for the kook is not loading up. Like everything else is, but not the kook. Um, Let me look it up. Yeah, you try. Kook pizza port. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Oh, you got it right there. 90. 90. You got, what'd you say? I said 90. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Wait. That means we tied. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, all right. So that means we got a tie for the Beer Advocate score. Me and Beer Buzz Daniel both got two points for the Beer Advocate score. Beer Buzz Daniel said 92. I said a 90. This is a 90. I think it's uh, West Coast people, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. This shit's fucking bullshit. Beer Advocate people are so stupid. Anyways, on that note, Beer Roads Carlos gave a cook a taste score of 6.5, a, small, a field score of 7, a small score of 7.5, and a chug of of 4. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I think it was. I don't think it had anything to do with anything else. I think it was pretty bad. Beer Roads Daniel? Taste score of 6. Feel score of seven, smell of eight, and a chug of four. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, dude? Uh, That's same. Yeah, you, we are very similar. Wait, we got the same average rating again. No way. <laughs> yeah, we did. Except for the very first one, we got the same average rating all across. What do you think is the winner of the day, Beer Rose Daniel? Damn. This is a hard one. You know what? I'm going to tell you this right now. No, never mind. I'm not going to I'm going to do the California. You think California honey? I think so. All right. Without revealing it, we got a tie. No way. Our the IPA. What do you think the, the loser of the day is? Loser is going to be... You shit it hard on the session, but I'm going to go with the double IPA. The cook? Yeah. All right. Our loser of the day is with a taste score of 6.25, a field score of 7 average, which is in second place.
the field, the test score, by the way, was in third place. A smell score of seven point seven five, which is tied for second pl- for first place, and a chuggability of four, which is in last place. With an overall average of 6.25, giving the Cook double IPA a medal of last place. Wow. It was mostly the Chug. The Chug chug really fucked it. Oh, the Chug fucked it so fucking bad. For sure. Because the the smell was uh, tied for first place. The spiel was actually in second place. And the taste was in third place. Okay. It was the Chug that really fucked it. In third place, with an overall taste score of seven, tied for first place. A field score of six for last place. Woo! A smell score of seven for last place. God damn. And the chug ability for third place. Giving an overall average of 6.5 was the Swamis. So Swamis did pretty good on taste, at least, for yeah. seven. Yeah. But everything else, it did shit. <laughs> Because if you just think about the taste, it tied for first place for the taste. So that's wow. pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. So that's in third place. Our second place of the day was a tie. Actually, there is no second place. It's okay. a first place tie. We're going to go with the lowest tasting score, though, with the Ponto with a 5.75, <laughs> which is the lowest tasting score. However, it got a feel- like shit. Yeah. <laughs> It got a field score of 6.5, <laughs> which is in third place. A small score of 7.75, which is in first place. And a checkability of 8, which is a solidified first place. Because nothing else came close to it in checkability, giving it an overall average of 7. Our other first place, and in my opinion, our true first place, was the California Honey. With a taste score of 7, for, tied for first place. A feel score is 7.25, which is also in first place. A smell score of 7.5, which is in second place. And the chuggability, however, a 6.25, which is in second place, giving the overall average of seven. What really hurt the California honey was the chuggability, because our first place chuggability was eight. Ooh. An eight compared to 6.25 is a yeah. big, big difference. Yeah. So our winners of the day was the Ponto with a lower taste score and our California Honey with a higher taste score. Actually, our number one taste score. Our loser of the day was the Cook, the double IP. I had the highest expectations for the Cook, too. I didn't. <laughs> After the first no, beer. before. Yeah, before. Yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, um, Cause yeah. Because usually doubles are pretty good. Yeah, usually they are. So... At least as far as this mix pack is concerned, we did not have a beer buds recommended for this mix pack. None of these are recommended. You have to have at least a 7.5 to be a beer buds recommended beer. None of these got there. However, no, I still wouldn't recommend the California honey. I wouldn't either. Yeah. And that was, in my opinion, that's the best one. If you ignore chuggability. I still wouldn't recommend it. So we didn't have a beer buds recommended beer today, unfortunately. But yeah, mm-hmm. we had a, a tie for first place. Anyways, interesting. On that note, it's been the beer buds season two, episode thirty one. Wow! Make sure to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter. Just check out the beer buds with a Z at the end, all together one word. We're on Instagram. Same thing, but it's actually in on Instagram with the underscore, which is a bottom line beer underscore buds with a Z at the end for Instagram. YouTube, it's just the beer buds. Just search up the beer buds, all one word with a Z at Wait, the end of the buds. Why are we not moving to Spotify exclusively? We're on Spotify. We're on Apple. We're on TuneIn. We're on Amazon. We're on every single podcast Sweet. platform now. For sure, a hundred percent guaranteed. We're on every single podcast platform. Should we just, just like go up to Spotify and be like, you wanna make us an offer? <laughs> yeah, I wish. It's exclusive. That'd be sick. They give us fifty grand. I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. They give Joe Rogan like yeah, no. <laughs> That's sick, dude. A hundred million? I know, no, no, a hundred, I think it was hundred and fifty, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um at least it'll shoot us some fifty grand. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. 
Uh, so yeah, just make sure to follow us. It helps us out. Uh, it helps us keep doing this. Beers are not a cheap, believe it or not. I mean, we like doing this. So no matter, at least I like doing this. I don't know if beer, but Daniel likes doing this. I'm pretty sure he I, does. I love doing this. Yeah. I so, get to come drink beers, talk <laughs> shit. Yeah. And good consistently, some, I think my favorite part is that I know Saturday I'm gonna be drinking beer. Yeah, and sometimes it's good beer, sometimes it's not. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, Just kidding. But, it doesn't matter. But. No, but it's a good it's a good thing. It's a journey, I think. And that's what I appreciate. We get we have a spreadsheet too of beers we know that are good now. So no, I think that's good. also cool. Yeah. And it's our taste, so it's super biased, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, because now we know what we want. You know what I mean? So it's fucking sick. And then next month is going to be exciting. Yeah. So uh, I guess next week, basically, because yeah. it's October. It's all going to be Oktoberfest beers. We're going to do Marzins. We're going to do Fuck Bavarians, yeah. et cetera. It's going to be great. It's gonna, we're going to get the boot because we need the boot for it. Mm. And we're going to drink the boot. So That's whatever boot. isn't worthy, we're going to drink the boot on the podcast That's for boot. sure. Because... It's Oktoberfest, and we're going to fucking celebrate Oktoberfest the proper way that's supposed to be celebrated. We've explained what Oktoberfest is, by the way, in our previous podcasts, but we'll explain it again. Yeah. It started because of a marriage, remember, between two German. Right. It was a Bavarian or something, like a princess and a prince. You should order some pretzel. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been the Beer Bros. Season 2, Episode 31. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms. It really does help us a lot. We appreciate any support, honestly. We hope this becomes big at some point. We hope this niche catches on. We might not be girls in bathing suits, and we might not be hot or cute, <laughs> but we drink beer, and we drink it right. We drink it right. Yeah, we do. This has been Beer Buzz Season 2, Episode 31. This is Beer Buzz Carlos. Beer Buzz Daniel. Uh, any cool noises you got, baby? Noises? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I got one. All right, all right. We'll see what you got. <laughs> 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 Fucking monkey. <laughs> it's a peacock, dude. That's a monkey, dude. <laughs> a peacock, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, let me go for it.